All right, people, we got it all up. We have like seven or eight people here, eight people right now for just for this. I guarantee you like none of you are going to be here the entire time. Reason being, this thing's 144 pages long. 143, because top page is empty. This is going to take a few hours. I, I almost was late because I had to run and grab a bottle of water because this is going to kill my voice. Non-stop talking for an hour. Well, well over an hour. Are you guys ready? I will be reading chat, cause, or else I'll just be completely bored. Here we go. Is, is the name correct? Yes, it is. Star Wars, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith script. George Lucas. 1 EXT space. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. A vast sea of stars serves as the backdrop for the main title, followed by a roll-up which crawls into infinity. War. The Republic is crumbling under the attacks by the ruthless Sith Lord Count Dooku. There are heroes on both sides. Evil is everywhere. In a stunning move, the Fendish droid leader, General Grievous has swept into the Republic capital and kidnapped Chancellor Palpatine, leader of the Galactic Senate. As the Separatist droid army attempts to flee the besieged capital with their valuable hostage, two Jedi Knights lead a desperate mission to rescue the captive Chancellor. Pan down to reveal the Republic attack cruiser, continue to pan with the cruiser as two Jedi starfighters enter head, head heading towards the enemy battle cruiser truck with the Jedi fighters all the manu as they maneuver into the unison dodging flat and enemy laser fire R2-D2 is on Anakin's ship R4-P17 is on Obi-Wan's ship a giant space battle is revealed as the tiny Jedi ships continue their assault in synchronized ballot Obi-Wan bounces through the flak with a frown his ship rocks violently See, Anakin smiles as he blasts a Trade Federation droid drop fighter. Anakin. There isn't a droid made that you can fly out. Uh, can fly out fly you, master. In no other way. In no other way to get the Chancellor. Obi-Wan, look out. Four droids inbound. The two Jedi fighters swerve in unison as four Trade Federation droid drop fighters attack. After several clever moments <laughs> where the Jedi, two of the Federation droid drop fighters collide with each other, other in a ball of, e into each other in a ball of flames. Obi-Wan struggles to maintain, maintain control of his ship. Obi-Wan, we've got to split them up. Anakin, break left. Fly through the guns on that tower. Obi-Wan flies to the left of a huge tower. On a Republic cruiser. The two droid drop fighters follow. Obi-Wan, easy for you to say. Why am I always the bait? Anakin, don't worry, I'm coming around behind you. Obi-Wan deftly remover maneuvers around the large starship's superstructure, but the two droid fighters stay on his tail, blasting him with intense laser fire. Obi-Wan, Anakin, they're all over me. Anakin, dead ahead, closing. Lock on to him, R2. R2 beeps his reply as Anakin swoops in for the kill. Anakin blasts one of the droid drop fighters. It explodes. Anakin continuing to la continuing laughs. We got him, R2. Anakin blasts away the second droid drop fighter as R2 beeps an angry warning. Anakin, I a copy, R2. Obi-Wan. I'm going down on deck. Anakin, good idea. I need some room to maneuver. Obi-Wan dives towards the surface of the larger Trade Federation battleships and is forced to fly through the maelstrom of laser flak. He skims the surface, followed by the droid drop fighter, which is followed by Anakin. Anakin continuing. Cut right, do you hear me? Cut right. Don't let him get a handle on you. Come on, R2, lock on, lock on. R2 beeps. The crosshairs merge on the dro droid drop fighter. Obi-Wan. Hurry up, I don't like this. 
Obi-Wan flies through a narrow gap between two towers on a battleship. The droid drop fighter hits one of Obi-Wan's wings with a laser blast, and parts of the ship go flying around Obi-Wan's astro droid. R4, Obi-Wan, continuing. Ouch, R4 beeps a blue streak. Obi-Wan continuing. Don't even try to fix it, R4. I've shut it down. Anakin, we're locked on. We've got him. Anakin drops in behind the droid drop fighter and blows him apart. R2 squeals with delight. Anakin continuing. Yeah, we got him. Good going, R2. Obi-Wan, next time you're the bait. Now let's find the command ship and get on with it. R4 beeps a blue streak. Anakin, lock on to him, R2. Master General Grievous's ship is directly ahead. R2 beeps a reply, hello, S, and it reads out in Anakin's cockpit. Anakin, continuing, the one crawling with the vulture droids. Obi-Wan, I see it. Oh, this is going to be easy. Ahead is a Trade Federation cruiser with a bat-like void vulture fighter stalking ar around on the hull. The vulture fighters transform into flight com configuration. I don't know what he's doing. Lift off the cruiser and attack the Jedi Starfighters. Anakin, come on, Master Obi-Wan. Not this time. There's too much at stake. We need help. Oddball, do you copy? Oddball, OS. I'm just going to call him OS. Copy, Red Leader. Obi-Wan, mark my position and form your squad up behind me. What are you typing? The, the protective ray shields lower on the main hangar of the Trade Federation. Cruiser and six new droid tri-fighters emerge and join the droid vulture fighters heading towards the Jedi. The Jedi starfighters extend the stability foils on the end of their wings. Anakin, this is where the fun begins. Ten vulture droids straight ahead coming down on the left side. R2 beeps a worried message. Obi-Wan, add five tri-fighters on the right. I'm going back head-to-head. -head. See you. Obi-Wan, take it easy, Anakin. Four clone fighters move into formation behind the Jedi. Eyeball, I'm on your right, Red Leader. Anakin, incoming. R2 squeals as five droid uh, tri-fighters pass by at high speed on the right. Obi-Wan, five more on the right. Four more vulture droid fighters pass at high speed from the left. All hell breaks loose. Obi-Wan and Anakin continue to fly in unison, backing up each other. Anakin, here we go. The Jedi ships split split up, making a quick loop around the droid tri-fighters, ending up behind them. Blasting away, the droid tri-fighters explode. Obi-Wan, I'm going high and right. Anakin, hang on, there's four more of them. Obi-Wan, stay with me. Swing back and right. Help me engage. Back off them. Let them pass between us. Anakin, I'm coming around. I'm coming around on your tail. Obi-Wan, all right, engage. And hurry, these droids are all over me like a rash. In one incredible move, Anakin swings in behind the droid tri-fighters, blowing them away one by one until there is only one left. R2 chirps. R2, let's find a howl as Anakin accelerates past the last droid tri-fighter. Slams on his brakes, flips the fighter around, and blasts the fighter from the front. R2 beeps frantically as they fly through the debris of the destroyed ship. Anakin looks behind him. Anakin, how many... How many back... How many back there, R2? R2 beeps. Three. Counting. Four. That's not good. All we want. Anakin, you have four on your tail. Anakin, I know, I know. Obi-Wan, break right and go high. Anakin, I'm going low and left. Obi-Wan shakes his head. Obi-Wan, to himself. He, is still, he still has much to learn. Anakin swoops low. Oh, hold up. Anakin swoops low and skims across the Trade Federation battleship, dodging flak as R2 bounces ar along, trying to get out of, out of sentence. Anakin, hang on R2, Obi-Wan, do you copy? I'm going to pull them through the needle. Obi-Wan, too da dangerous. First Jedi rule, survive. Anakin, sorry, no choice. Come down here and thin them out a little. 
Obi-Wan drops in behind the droid vulture fighters, chasing Anakin. R4 beeps to Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan, just keep me steady. Hold on. Not yet. Now break left. Obi-Wan fires as he swings across the back of the vulture droids, blasting four of them away. Anakin heads for a trench along the surface of one of the Trade Federation battleships. He flies into a trench, which ends in a conning t tower with a small slit between the two main struts. Obi-Wan continuing. You'll never get through there, Anakin. It's too tight. R2 beeps nervously. Anakin, easy, R2. We've done this before. Obi-Wan, use the force. Think yourself through. The ship will follow. R2 squeals in a panic. On the view screen, R2 squeal read out. We're not going to make it. Anakin, wrong thought, R2. Anakin slips through the narrow gap. The trailing vulture droid fighters crash. Anakin continuing. I'm through. Obi-Wan continues to fire on the vulture droid fighters, driving them into an explosion. A clone fire... A fighter is hit and explodes, spewing debris. The clone pilot spins off into space. Finally, Obi-Wan peels off and swings around, pulling alongside Anakin. Clo uh, Anakin, clone fight squad seven battles the droids. Oddball, there are too many of them. Clone pilot two, I'm on your wing. Break left, break left. They're all over me. Get them off my... Anakin, I'm going to go help them out. Obi-Wan, no, no, they're doing their job, so we can do ours. Head for the command ship. Another clone fighter is hit, bursts into flames, and spins off into space. A vulture droid raises its head to locate its targets and fires missiles at them. Anakin, missiles, pull up. Anakin and Obi-Wan break right and left, and the missiles follow them. Anakin does a barrel roll spin, causing the missiles following him to co collide and explode. Two missiles continue to chase Obi-Wan. He banks sharply to the right, then to the left, causing one of the missiles to overshoot. Obi-Wan, they overshot us. The second missile streaks next to Obi-Wan's fighter and explodes. Obi-Wan's ship rocks and R4 screams that the starfighter rips through the explosion. Debris flies all around them. Anakin, they're coming around. Obi-Wan, alright R4, no no, nothing too fancy. Anakin, surge all power units R2. Stand by the reverse thrusters. Anakin spins his starfighter. The missile spins. The missiles spin and collide. Anakin, we got him, R2. Two missiles continue to track Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan fly, flying is for droids. Suddenly, Obi-Wan shudders. His, sharp, his ship starts to plummet towards the surface of the Trade Federation cruiser. The trailing missiles fly into what looks like debris and detonate. Five silver balls fly out of the debris, attaching themselves to the ship. The balls pop open, revealing small budge droids. They begin to crawl around the surface like spiders. Obi-Wan, continuing. I'm hit, Anakin. Anakin, I don't see them. Buzz droids. The buzz droids crawl up Obi-Wan's ship and start to tear it apart. Sparks erupt while the buzz droids break into the wiring. One of the buzz droids goes after R4. The buzz droids crawl... The buzz droids crawl on Obi-Wan's ship and start to tear it apart. Oh, I already read that. R4, be careful. You have one. R4's head gets ripped off and flies away. Obi-Wan, oh dear, they're shutting down all the controls. And can move to your right so I can get a clear shot at them. Obi-Wan, the mission, get to the command ship. Get the Chancellor. I'm running out of tricks here. Anakin moves into position just off Obi-Wan's left side and angles his ship, so the guns are pointing at the boy, uh, droids crawling over Obi-Wan's starfighter. Anakin fires and vaporizes two buzz droids along with the left wing of Obi-Wan's ship. Obi-Wan continuing, in the name of... Anakin, steady, steady. Obi-Wan, Anakin, hold your fire, hold your fire, you're not helping here. Anakin, I agree, bad idea, swing right, ease over, steady. Obi-Wan, wait, wait, I can't see a thing, my cockpit's fogging. They're all over me, Anakin. Anakin, move to the right. Obi-Wan, hold on. Anakin, you're going to get us both killed. Get out of here. There's nothing more you can do. Anakin, I'm not leaving without you, Master. Anakin moves his ship next to Obi-Wan's and tries to, to physically knock the buzz droids off. There are five left. He manages to get one off, but badly dents Obi-Wan's ship in the process. One of the buzz droids tears a piece off the front of Obi-Wan's ship. Flames burst out. 
and more smoke bill billows out, obscuring the Jedi's view. Anakin knocks off three of the buzz droids, and the fourth crawls out onto Anakin's ship and starts attacking R2. R2 fights the buzz droid. Obi-Wan blasted, I can't see anything. <laughs> My controls are gone. Anakin, get him R2, watch out. Sen, you may not want to stay for this one. We're only on page 12 of 144. Yeah, no, I'm reading today, Sen. Hold up. Let me do something really quick. I got, I gotta do something. Give me a moment here. Bear with me. It'll only take like two seconds. I'm sorry, Alfio. I'll get back to it. Oh my gosh, I put my cat to sleep. Good kitty. All right, I'm back. R2, hit the buzz droid center eye. R2 extends an arm, aims a... R2 extends an arm and aims a stream of electricity at the swerving buzz droid. The buzz droid is hit squarely in the eye and falls off the ship. Anakin, yeah, you got him. Obi-Wan, great R2. Anakin, stay on my wing. The general's command ship is dead ahead. Easy, pull up, head for the hangar. Obi-Wan, have you noticed the shields are still up? Anakin, oh, sorry, master. Anakin streaks ahead of Obi-Wan's disintegrating Jedi fighter and blasts the shield generator. It sparks and explodes. Obi-Wan, oh, I have a bad feeling about this. The shield door drops away, and Obi-Wan crashes on the deck of the hangar bay, engulfed in a fan tail of sparks. A set of blast doors starts slamming shut a across the hangar opening as the material is sucked into space. Anakin maneuvers around the oncoming junk, flies into the hangar just as the blast doors slam shut. Obi-Wan ignites his lightsaber and cuts his way out of the cockpit. cockpit. He jumps deer just as his ship explodes. Battle droids rush at him from all directions. Anakin jumps out of his ship and cuts his way through the battle droids to where Obi-Wan is fighting. R2 pops out of the ship and follows Anakin. Obi-Wan, R2, locate the Chancellor. Anakin, tap into the ship's computers. They cut down the last of the droids, follow R2 over the computer wall socket. The two Jedi fight off four more droids as R2 tries to find the Chancellor. Finally, a hologram of the Trade Federation ships appear. Appears. Obi-Wan, the Chancellor's signal is coming from right there, the observation, observation platform at the top of the spire. Anakin, I sense Count Dooku. Obi-Wan, I sense a trap. Anakin, next move. Obi-Wan, spring the trap. Jedi start to leave. R2 follows. The Jedi stop him and turn to R2. R2, go back. I need you to stay with this ship. Obi-Wan, here, take this and wait for orders. Obi-Wan tosses his comm link to R2. General Grievri Grievous enters the bridge of the Trade Federation cruiser, followed by his two bodyguards. He walks to the front of the bridge, and he stands in front of the Nemi Modian captain. General Grievous, what's the situation, captain? Captain, two Jedi have landed in the main hangar bay. General Grievous, just as Count Dooku predicted. Anakin and Obi-Wan head for the elevator. A door opens in the hallway. Two of General Grievous's bodyguards confront the Jedi. Bodyguard. One. General Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, we've been waiting for you. Obi-Wan, we are here to relieve you of Chancellor Palpatine, not join him. As a dozen more droids join the group, the Jedi ignite their lightsabers and stand back to back. Obi-Wan, Anakin, Anakin ready. Anakin and Obi-Wan use their lightsabers to cut large circles in the floor. The two, the two Jedis cut their way down several floors into a large generator room. Huge explosions outside the ship have caused several, several large pipes overhead to break. The fluid is spewing everywhere. The Jedi get up and turn off their lightsabers. Anakin dips his hand into the fluid and sniffs it. Obi-Wan, fuel. The lightest charge from our saber, sabers will send the ship into oblivion. That's why they've stopped shooting. Anakin, well done. We're safe for the time being. Obi-Wan, your idea of safe is not the same as mine. Uh, 
They run explosion. They run. Explosions rattle the ship, and pipes continue to burst around them, spilling more fuel into the hallway. At the far end, six super battle droids drop into the fuel. They s the sound of their shield doors closing and locking echo throughout the hallway. They pass several large power generators, which are topped with sparking excess power discharges. Anakin, they're sealing the section off. Obi-Wan, six droids coming our way. The last, of our, the last of the doors can be heard closing in the distance. Anakin, keep moving. There must be vents. This way. They move along the wall. Anakin climbs up the side to a small vent. The fuel gets closer to the sparking discharges. Obi-Wan, we'll never get through here. It's too small. They move towards the second vent. Obi-Wan is swimming in the fuel as it reaches to within a couple yards of the ceiling. Anakin feels along the ceiling and finds another smaller vent, closes his eyes and tries to sense an opening. Then then he moves on. Obi-Wan is forced into hand-to-hand -hand combat with one of the super battle droids. It puts Jedi under the fuel. Just before he is about to drown, Obi-Wan disables the super pa uh, power battle droid by pushing him into the exhaust pipe. The fuel is up to the Jedi's chins. Anakin finds a very, very small metal grate, then pounds on it to get until the tiny grate breaks loose. Anakin, I found the our escape vent. Obi-Wan, Anakin, this is no time for jokes. We're, we're in serious trouble here. Anakin, only in your mind, my master. Look, no structure. Anakin grabs the side of the tiny hill and gives it a big yank, ripping a large panel loose, revealing a man-sized work shaft. They scramble through as the droids swim closer. They're well, not even close to the end, but whatever. So, uh, hope you're enjoying. The two Jedi pull themselves through the narrow vent shaft until they reach a small hatch in the side of the tube. Anakin, here's our way out. As the super battle droids reach the opening in the ceiling, the fuel gets within a few feet of the power generator sparks. The Jedi work the keyboard on the pressure lock opening the latch. Two Jedi the two Jedi climb into a small passageway and slam the hatch shut. They make their way through the ever-shrinking shaft until they reach the end. The hatch opens in one of the main hallways of the Trade Federation cruiser. And the Jedi squeeze out, slamming the hatch behind them. Behind, behind them. Anakin seals the hatch with his. Excuse me. Oh, that's going to make him feel real mad. With his laser sword. Oh, you won. That won't hold them. When the fuel hits those power dischargers, Anakin, the blast will break the hole. The sides pressurized. Obi-Wan, you still have much to learn, Anakin. The super battle droids climb up the vent shaft. Super battle droid R-77 and several other droids wait in the other generator room as the fuel continues to ride towards the power discharger. Super battle droid R-77, I have a bad feeling about this. The fuel hits the power discharger in a huge explosion, a great explosion, and flaming glass cloud clouds spray out of the side of the Federation cruiser. A large bulge appears in the wall around the sealed hatch as the explosion hits Obi-Wan jumps back and then stands amazed. <laughs> A few. This is the actual script like they used for the movie. They're not disrespecting it. This is the actual thing, Alfio. A large bulge appears in the wall around the sealed hatch as the explosion hits. Obi-Wan jumps back. He stands amazed. Obi-Wan, alright, you win. I have much to learn. Let's go. Anakin grins at Obi-Wan. They follow down the hallway. Two Jedi wait for an elevator to arrive. They turn around to see they are face to face with three destroyer droids. The droids are start blasting away. Anakin deflects the bolts. Obi-Wan frantically pushes the elevator button several more times. Anakin, destroyers. Finally, the doors open. They rush inside under a hail of laser bolts. The elevator doors slide shut. The Jedi turn to see the battle droids standing behind them. Finally. Yes, Jackson, I know you have. 
Finally, the door is open, and they rush inside under a hail of laser bolts. The elevator door slides shut. The Jedi turn around to see Battle Droid standing behind them. <laughs> Bell Battle Droid, drop your weapons. I said drop them. The Jedi activate their lightsabers and destroy all the Battle Droids. R2-D2 notices two super Battle Droids entering the hangar. He moves and hides behind a Jedi Starfighter. The elevator begins to move and screeches to a stop. Obi-Wan, did you press the button? Anakin, no, did you? Obi-Wan, no. Well, there's more than one way out of here. Out of here. Anakin and Nikes... Oh my gosh, Alfio, this is the actual script to it. Are they called laser swords and not lightsabers? I'm googling this real quick, okay? Is it a laser sword or lightsaber? Hmm? So they're also called laser swords. Because it's called a laser sword in the actual um, uh, script. I'm going to call these laser swords for now on. Because it's in the script. These are right. This <laughs> is They use the script for the movie. But Obi-Wan, we don't want to get out. We want to get moving, R2. R2, do you copy? Activate the elevator. Looks at control panel. 31174. And it can cuts a hole in the elevator ceiling. Two super battle droids are inspecting the Jedi Starfighters. They overhear Obi-Wan's voice and over the comlink can get distracted. Super Battle Droid 1. What's that? Super Battle Droid 2. Get back to work. It's nothing. Obi-Wan. R2? Anakin climbs through the hole on the ceiling of the elevator. Obi-Wan continuing. Always on the move. Obi-Wan continues to talk on the comlink. R2 quietly beeps a reply. R2 trows tries to muffle the comlink as the two super battle droids try to figure out where the voices are coming from. R2 extends an arm and plugs into the computer interface. Obi-Wan. R2, R2, switch on the comlink. R2, do you hear me? R2, we gave you a job to do. R2. Suddenly, the elevator plummets down the shaft. Anakin quickly jumps and grabs onto the hallway entry door. He watches as the elevator recedes down the shaft and disappears. Anakin struggles to keep his grip on the closed door as the spark sparking wires rain down on him. The elevator starts to descend rapidly. Obi-Wan, stop, stop, R2, we need to be going up. Anakin struggles to hang on to the narrow edge of the elevator shaft. The door to the elevator shaft is pried open. Two battle droids appear in the doorway and look down at Anakin. They point guns at him. Hands up, Jedi, don't move. Droid 2, roger, roger. The two super battle droids overhear Obi-Wan's comlink messages to R2. Super battle droid 1, there it is again. Obi-Wan, R2, do you copy? R2, do you hear me? R2, we need to be going up, not down. The elevator races down as Obi-Wan holds on. Obi-Wan, stop R2, we need to go up. Stop, stop. The elevator stops with a jolt. Obi-Wan falls to the floor. The two super battle droids see R2 and walk towards the little droid. Super Battle Droid 1. Hey you, R2, plugs into the interface again and the elevator shoots up. Obi-Wan stands up after having fallen in the elevator. Now that's better. R2 is held up by the two Super Battle Droids who chuckle as the little Astro Droid curses and swings at them. Super Battle Droid 1. You stupid little Astro Droid. He looks down to see the elevator. Heading uh, heading toward him at the high rate of speed, he looks at the battle droids leaning over him with their guns pointed at him. He calculates for a moment, then gives himself a push and flips himself up the, into the elevator shaft. Before Anakin can arc into a descent down the shaft, the elevator races up through the shaft, cutting the droids in two. Anakin lands on the elevator, quickly drops back through the hole in the ceiling. Obi-Wan is startled and ignites his lightsaber. Obi-Wan, oh, it's you. R2 activates his oil hose and sprays the super battle droids. Super battle droids slip on the oil. Anakin, what's all, what was that all about, Obi-Wan? Well, R2 has been... Anakin, no loose wire jokes. He's doing the best he can. 
Obi-Wan, did I say anything? Anakin, he's trying. Obi-Wan, he didn't say anything. Distracted. R2 ignites his arm rockets and shoot out of their grip, spraying them both with oil and setting them on fire. Super battle droids slip and slide under the fall, smoldering until they fall, smoldering. R2 rolls away. I do see that. The elevator doors open, and the two Jedi carefully make their way into the main room of the General's quarters. At, at the far end sits Supreme Chancellor Palpatine. Anakin and Obi-Wan move towards the Chancellor. As they get closer, as they get closer to Palpatine, they see a very distressed look on the Chancellor's face. Obi-Wan bows. Anakin, are you alright? Palpatine, quietly, Count Dooku. Palpatine makes a small gesture with his hand. Obi-Wan and Anakin turn around. The elevator doors can be heard opening and closing as Count Dooku strides into the room. He is above the Jedi, standing on the balcony with two super battle droids. The Jedi turn to see him. He looks down on the Jedi. Obi-Wan, quietly to Anakin. This time we will do it together. Anakin, I was about to say that. Count Dooku jumps down to the main level. Palpatine, get help. You're no match for him. He's a Sith Lord. Obi-Wan, Chancellor Palpatine, Sith Lords are our specialty. Obi-Wan and Anakin throw off their cloaks, cloaks and ignite their lightsabers. Count Dooku. Your swords, please. In the real script, they are swords. Please, Master Jedi. We don't want to make a mess of things, Chancellor. Hey, uh, and Althea, if you're even still listening, please go, go look up this part in the movie and please tell me if he actually says swords. Thanks. We don't want to make a mess in front of the Chancellor. Obi-Wan and Anakin move toward Dooku. Obi-Wan, you won't get away this time, Dooku. Obi-Wan and Anakin charge Count Dooku. A great sword fight in ensues. Count Dooku, I've been looking forward to this. Anakin, my powers have doubled since the last time we met. Met. Count Dooku, Count. Count Dooku, good. Twice the pride, double the fall. Dooku lunges at the Jedi, they, and they fall back. Count Dooku continuing. Your moves are clumsy, Kenobi. Too predictable. You have to do better. As the battle proceeds, Obi-Wan and Count Dooku are ti uh, tr tired. Anakin is stronger as he becomes angry. Anakin con continues to try the attack on Dooku. Count Dooku throws Obi-Wan back using the Force. Anakin and Count Dooku move up the stairs. They reach the upper landing of the General's quarters. Anakin leaps over Count Dooku. Obi-Wan reaches the top of the stairs, destroying two super battle droids. Count Dooku holds up Obi-Wan in the air using the Force as he turns and kicks Anakin out of the frame. Obi-Wan is choking. Anakin hits the archway. Dooku sends Obi-Wan flying. The Jedi tumbles to the floor, lower level, unconscious. Count Dooku spins around again using the Force, causes a section of the balcony to drop on Obi-Wan. Anakin spins around and kicks Count Dooku sending him over the balcony. Anakin jumps forward, following him down to the main floor. Count Dooku and Anakin continue to flight, fight. Count Dooku, I sense great fear in you, Skywalker. You have hate. You have anger. But you don't use them. Anakin regains his composure and attacks Count Dooku as the Dark Lord continues to spin to meet him head on. Their fighting can becomes even more intense. Anakin attacks Count Dooku with new ferociousness. My gosh, we're half an hour in. This is how far we've made it. Can I get a quick drink? <sighs> Anakin and Dooku continue their fight. It is intense. Finally, in one last energized charge, Anakin cuts off Count Dooku's hands. A Jedi catches the lightsaber as it drops from the severed Sith Lord's hands. Count Dooku stumbles to the floor as Anakin puts two lightsabers to his neck. Palpatine is grinning as he watches Count Dooku's defeat. Palpatine, good Anakin. Good, uh, good. I knew you would, could do it. Kill him, kill him now. Anakin, I shouldn't. Palpatine, do it. Anakin cuts off Count Dooku's head. A huge explosion somewhere deep in the ship rattles everything. Anakin, I couldn't stop myself. Pap Palpatine, you did well, Anakin. It was too dangerous to be be kept alive. 
I can drop this count to who's lightsaber moving toward there it is lightsaber there it is Alfio right there moving to Palpatine Anakin yes but he was an unarmed prisoner Anakin raises his hands toward Palpatine who is strapped in the Admiral's chair the Chancellor's restraints pop loose Anakin raises his hands towards Palpatine, who is strapped in the Admiral's chair. Oh, I already read that. Anakin continuing, I shouldn't have done that, Chancellor. It's not the Jedi way. Palpatine stands up, rubbing his wrists. It is only natural. He cut off your arm. You want revenge. It wasn't the first time, Anakin. Remember what you told me about your mother and the Sand People? Now we must leave more secure before more security droids arrive. The ship begins to list on, to one side. Anakin rushes over to Obi-Wan, lifts the control console from on top of him, and pulls him free. He kneels down and checks out his unconscious friend, Palpatine, Palpatine heads for the elevators. Palpatine continuing, Anakin, there is no time. We must get off this ship before it is too late. He seems to be all right. No broken bones. He's breathing. Breathing. He's breathing. All right. Breathing's all right. Palpatine, leave him or we'll never make it. Anakin, his fate will be the same as ours. Anakin picks up Obi-Wan, slings him over his shoulder, and heads for the elevators. General Grievous, prepare for attack. All batteries, fire, fire. Clone gunners fire on the Trade Federation cruiser and take, and take fire in return. Gun emplacements are destroyed. Clone troopers go flying. Anakin carries Obi-Wan to the elevator door and hits the button. Palpatine joins him. Anakin, the elevator is not working. Into his comlink. R2. R2 beeps for a response. Anakin, continuing. Activate elevator 3224. Suddenly, the ship, sh the ship shifts to its side. The elevator door is open. Palpatine is thrown to the ground. Anakin jumps to the door frame of the elevator. Anakin looks at the elevator shaft. Anakin continuing. R2, do you copy? R2, come in. Windows are blown out. Droids and equipment are sucked into space. Pilot, reverse stabilizers. As a ship rolls, spacecraft and equipment crash from one side to, of the ship to the other. Several ob objects break through the metal blast door, causing objects to be sucked into space. R2 starts to slide toward one of the small holes. As the elevator shaft rotates, oh, it has become it. It has become a long hallway. Anakin clings to the door frame with Obi Wan on his shoulder, and, and the Chancellor struggles to join him. R two continues to skid and slide toward the open space. He swerves around boxes and wrecked fighters. One of the battle droids stumbles and is consumed by the electronic shield in his app. R two beeps as a reply as he dodges the laser blast of the battle droid. One bolt. One bolt hits very near him. He screams in terror. Pilot, magnetize, magnetize. R2 is about to be overtaken by the starfighter slang behind him. He falls into a heap of bo broken battle droid parts, and the fighter bounces over, over him. The Trade Federation cruiser heads straight down toward the planet. Anakin jumps into the horizontal elevator shaft with Obi wan still on his shoulder. Anakin, we can't wait. Come on, we have to be fast. Palpatine climbs into the elevator shaft also. They start running. The ship begins to roll again. The Jedi and, Chance the Jedi and the Chancellor are forced to jump from one side of the elevator to the other. General Grievous, fire the emergency booster engines. Leveling out, sir. Anakin's still carrying Obi-Wan on his back. Palpatine run down the elevator shaft as it starts to move upright. Anakin cuts the control box on one of the doors, but before the doors can open, the ships move to an angle, causing Anakin and Palpatine to start sliding down the shaft. Anakin grabs some wires in the control box with one hand. Palpatine grabs onto the Jedi's leg. As the ship rights itself, they, they are left hanging in the bottomless elevator shaft. Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Palpatine hang 
precariously on the side of the bottomless elevator shaft. Obi-Wan regains his consciousness and tries to look around. Anakin, easy. We are in a bit of a situation. Obi-Wan, did I miss something? Everyone looks down and sees Palpatine in the bottomless pit. They hear R2 beeping on Obi-Wan's comm link. The ship begins to roll, causing the vert a vertical shaft to move into a 45 degree angle. They hear elevator brakes release and look to the top of the elevator hole heading towards them. And I can hold on. Obi-Wan, what is that? Obi-Wan and Anakin look up and watch the elevator approach them at high speed. Then Obi-Wan turns to Anakin. Obi-Wan continuing. Oops. R2, R2, shut down the elevator. Obi-Wan, too late, jump. They fall 300 feet before the tilt of the ship catches up with them, and they hit the side of the shaft and slide at a great speed just ahead of the elevator. Shaft continues to rotate until it's completely horizontal. Anakin and Obi-Wan take out and throwing grappling hooks. The hooks catch, catch, they continue to fall. All the doors in the elevator shaft open up, and the, a group, and the group swings through the open door into the hallway. The elevator roars by. Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Palpatine fly through the elevator door and land. Obi-Wan, let's see if we can find something in the hangar that'll, that's still flyable. Come on. Anakin, R2, get down here. R2, do you copy? The trade, the Federation cruiser continues to rotate. R2 squeals and pokes a periscope out of a pile of broken battle droid parts. He looks around, rockets up out of the debris. Obi-Wan and Anakin lead Palpatine down the hallway toward the hangar bay. Is extremely windy as bits and pieces are continually, continually sucked into space. The hangar bay doors are closed, but great stresses are being exerted, exer exerted as a ship twists, re-entering the atmosphere of Coruscant. Coruscant. They stop in the doorway leading to the hangar bay. Obi Wan, none of those ships will get us anywhere. Anakin, I agree. Palpatine, what are we going to do? Anakin, I don't know. Obi Wan, don't look at me. I don't know. Anakin and Palpatine both look at to Obi-Wan, and he shrugs his shoulders. Anakin's fighter has been sucked out of the hangar bay, It's and it's totaled. Suddenly, the ship turns on its side. Anakin, here, Chancellor, lock this around your waist. Hold on. Obi-Wan will head toward the bridge and see if we can find an escape pod. Anakin hands Palpatine the end of the cable attached to his utility belt. Anakin hands Palpatine... Blah, blah, blah. I already read that. That's why I said blah, blah, blah. Palpatine attaches around his waist. Anakin and Obi-Wan throw their utility cables to some pipes in the ceiling and swing to a second set of pipes. Obi-Wan grabs onto the pipes that run along the ceiling and is now a wall. He moves out into the hangar. Two super battle droids start firing at him. The Jedi ignites his lightsaber and deflects the bolts back at the droids, blowing them up. Anakin and Palpatine follow Obi-Wan along the pipes, running along the ceiling of the hangar. Palpatine struggles against the escaping air of the pressurized hangar. Palpatine loses his grip as a pipe breaks, causing a rush of steam, but Anakin manage manages to maintain his grasp on the pipe, and the Chancellor dangles on the other end of the utility cable. They are surrounded by sparks and explosions as the ship twists and tries to break apart. Anakin moves out of the steam, struggling to pull Palpatine back to safety. Anakin is almost pulled loose into the buffeting winds. The ceiling behind them buckles, causing pipes to break, creating geysers of steam. Some bits of pipe go hurling into the black glass doors out into space. They make it through the hangar doorway as it closes behind them. Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Palpatine are out of breath. Obi-Wan and Anakin. Well, that was close. They laugh. Bodyguard. General, we found the Jedi. They're in hallway 328. General Grievous. Activate ray shields. They run down the hallway. Suddenly, ray shields drop around them, putting them in an electronic box in the middle of the hallway. Anakin. Ray shields. Obi-Wan takes a deep, deep breath to express his total disappointment. Obi-Wan, wait a minute. How'd this happen? There's, we're smarter than this. Anakin, apparently not, Master. This is the oldest trap in the book. Well, I was, well, 
I was distracted. Oh, so all of a sudden it's my fault. You're the master, I'm just a, a hero. I'm open to suggestions here, Palpatine. Why don't we let them take us to General Grievous? Perhaps Count, perhaps with Count Dooku's demise, we can negotiate our release. The Jedi look at each other in, dis in disbelief. I say patience. Patience, that's your plan, is it? Anakin, yes, R2 will be along in a few moments. He'll release the ray shields. R2 comes skidding across the hallways and dashes into the opposite wall. He takes a moment to compose himself. Anakin, see? No problem. Suddenly, several doorways open, revealing two destroyer droids. Sixteen super battle droids emerge from the, behind the destroyer droid. R2 turns and zaps one of the super battle droids, who kicks R2 over. Suddenly, several doorways... Uh, I already read that. Super... Super battle droid, don't move, dummy. Ouch, snap this. Obi-Wan, do you have a plan B? Obi-Wan, Anakin, Pal Anak Anakin, and Palpatine and R2 are captured by General Grievous. They stand before the alien droid general. General Grievous, oh yes, General Kenobi, the negotiator, we've been waiting for you. That wasn't much of a rescue. The battle droid walks into General Grievous and hands him the Jedi's lightsabers. That, de that depends on the point of view. Ha. Huh. General Grievous and Anakin Skywalker. I was expecting someone with your reputation to be a little older. Anakin, General Grievous, Supreme Court Commander of the Droid Armies? You're shorter than I expected. General Grievous. Ah, Jedi scum. Obi-Wan, Anakin, try not to upset him. We have a job to do. General Grievous, your lightsabers will make a fine addition to my collection. Ah, everyone that classic line not this time and this time you won't escape anakin r2 r2 creates a distraction distraction by extending his arms shooting out electrical pulses bouncing around obi-wan hands re hands restrained with electro bonds spins around reaches out using the force sinks his lightsabers from general's hand ignites it and cuts his bonds he continues to spin around and cuts anakin free General Grievous, crush them. Make them suffer. Anakin uses the Force to yank his lightsaber out of the General's hand. The droids that surround them begin to fire. Obi-Wan and Anakin jump into the line of fire. The bridge de uh, degenerates into ca uh, chaos. Obi-Wan and Anakin are locked into the pitched battle between electrostaffs and laser s Oh, come on! And laser swords with General Grievous's two, uh, two bodies bodyguards <sighs> hashtag hydration Chancellor Palpatine is taken away by two battle droids General Grievous walks around the bridge directing the battle droids General Grievous stay and watch your stations Obi-Wan fights one one of General Grievous's bodyguards. The bodyguard carries an electrified staff about five feet long. <laughs> yes, Sophia. Uh, Grievous's bodyguards. The bodyguard carries an electrified staff about five feet long. When the laser sword hits it, electrical bolts fly everywhere and surround the laser sword. Obi Wan is unable to cut the staff. Jedi. The Jedi gets whacked pretty good a couple of times and is knocked the halfway across the bridge. Obi-Wan pulls himself together and attacks again, cutting off the droid's bodyguard's head. Very nice. Obi-Wan pulls himself together and attacks again, cutting off the droid, droid bodyguard's head. The droid bodyguard keeps attacking, and Kanakin struggles to defend himself against the other maniac droid bodyguard. He cuts the droid's bodyguard in half. The two battle droids try to take the Chancellor away. Anakin follows them down the hallway and cuts them down, rescuing the Chancellor. Obi-Wan finish, finishes off the headless bodyguard. It crumbles to the floor in pieces. Alarm sound. A giant a giant spacecraft begins to list and fall out of orbit. A pilot yells at General Grievous. Sir, we are falling out of orbit. All aft control cells are dead. I guess they're not supposed to say shaft. General Grievous, stay on curse, course. Don't bother with them. Keep this ship in orbit. 
Obi-Wan and Anakin destroy the remaining droids. General Grievous retrieves one of the bodyguard staffs and faces and faces Obi-Wan. Anakin leaps over a console and lands behind General Grievous. General Grievous, you lose, General Kenobi. One of the pilots stands next to General. Pirate, the ship is breaking, uh, breaking up, General Grievous. We've, we've run out of time. Obi-Wan tries to get General Grievous, tries to get at General Grievous. Anakin runs at the General from the opposing side. General Grievous turns and throws his electrified staff at the window. It breaks, causing chaos, and everything is, that is not nailed down is sucked into space. General Grievous is the first one sucked out into space. He fires cables from his arm that attaches to the ship. He swings in, in and lands firmly on the side of the ship. Anakin, Obi-Wan, Anakin, Palpatine hold on for dear life. A blast shield closes around where the window used to be. Obi-Wan continues to fight the battle droids. The droids have been backed, have backed him into a corner. Obi-Wan hides behind a control panel as the droids blast away at him. He jumps over, he jumps up and over the droids, cutting most of them down before, before he lands, hold up, before he, he lands, he destroys the droids and joins Anakin. Anakin and Obi-Wan cut through the rest of the droids as if they were of butter. Palpatine stands in shock as he watches the carnage. Droid parts fi firing everywhere. Obi-Wan and Anakin stand back to back as they cut down the last of the droids, just as there is a huge shudder followed by more alarms. Sparks begin to fly outside of the windows. Palpatine, the hole is burning up. General Grievous detaches his cable and crawls around the exterior of the hole. The, trade, the Federation crews are use, using his magnetized hands and feet. He reaches a row of escape pods and enters an airlock. Enters, General Grievous enters the escape pod bay through a hatch. The droid general goes to a control panel and opens up an escape pod. General Grievous, time to abandon ship. General Grievous pulls a row of switches, and one by one, the escape pods are jettisoned out. Um, he gets in one, the hatch closes, and escape pods black. One and Anakin go over to the navigator's chair. Anakin, all the escape pods have been launched. Obi Wan, Grievous, can you fly a cruiser? Can uh, can you fly a cruiser like this? You mean, I don't know how to land. You mean, do I know how to land what's left of this thing? Anakin sits on the pilot's chair and sees on screen the back half of the ship break away. There's a great jolt and the ship tip tilts forward. Obi-Wan, well, under the circumstances, I'd say the ability to pilot this thing is irrelevant. Strap yourselves in. Obi-Wan and Palpatine strap themselves into chairs. Anakin struggles with the controls of the ship. The ship starts to glow and pieces break off. R2 moves in on Palpatine's controls and assists flying the cruiser. Obi-Wan, steady, altitude, 18 degrees. R2 beeps. Anakin pressures... Anakin... Pressure rising. We got to slow this wreck down. Open all hatches, extend all flaps, and drag fins. Temp steady. Hatches open, flaps extended, drag fins. A large part of the ship breaks away. Anakin, we lost something. Obi-Wan, not to worry. We're still flying half a ship. Now we're really picking up speed. I'm going to shift a few degrees and see if I can slow us down. Let's see. Uh... Careful, we're heating up 12,000, 13,000. Anakin, what's our speed? Uh, 8 plus 64, 8 plus 64, 8 plus 60, temp. Temp 10,000, 9,000, we're in the atmosphere. Anakin points to one of the controls. R2 beeps madly. Grab that, keep us level. Obi-Wan, steady, steady. Anakin, easy R2. Hang on, this may get a little rough. We've lost our heat shields. 5,000, 3,000, 2,000. Fire ships on the left and right. Fire ship pilot will take you in. Copy that. Landing strip straight ahead. We're coming in too hot, Obi-Wan. Easy, easy. The ship leaves contrail 
as it streaks across the crescent sky skyline. Palpatine and Obi-Wan hold on for dear life as the ship shakes and rattles toward an industrial landing platform. A large landing platform. Hello, Ryan B. How's it going? Obi-Wan hold on for dear life as the ship shakes and rattles toward the industrial landing platform. A landing platform in an industrial part of the city is surrounded by emergency fire speeders. The smoke... The smoking ship arrives as fire sh five fire ships spray it with foam. The ship finally makes a rather hard landing. Obi-Wan, another happy landing. Yes, chat. Yes, chat. Yes. We are... We're past... Eh. Yeah, we're past a quarter, and I think that is. Right? Yeah. We're, we're at right at, we're at right about a quarter into this, okay? It, the small Jedi shuttle shuttle carrying Palpatine and the Jedi arrives at the landing platform. There are a dozen senators, including Bail Organa, Jar Jar Binks, yes, and C three PO waiting for them. Palpatine, R two D two, and Anakin get out. Obi Wan and Mace stay in the doorway of the Jedi shuttle. Anakin to Obi Wan, are you coming, Master? Obi Wan, oh no, I'm not brave enough. For polit uh, politics, I have to report this to the council. Besides, someone needs to stay to be the poster boy. Anakin, hold on. This whole operation was your idea. You planned it. You led the rescue operation. You have to be the one to take the bows this time. Obi-Wan, sorry, old friend. Let us not forget that you rescued me from Buzz Droids and you killed Count Dooku. And you rescued the Chancellor, carrying me unconscious on your back. You managed to land that bucket of bolts safely. Anakin, all because of your training, Master. You deserve all those speeches of your greatness. Am I over a quarter of the way done? I don't know how to do math. Okay. The endless, the endless speeches, Anakin. Let's be fair. Today you are the hero, and you deserved your glorious day with politicians. Anakin, all right, but you owe me. And not for saving your skin for the tenth time. Obi-Wan, ninth time. That business on Kato Nemodaya doesn't count. I'll see you at the briefing. Anakin smiles and walks away from Obi-Wan. The Chancellor and his entourage of approach Mace. Mace Windu. Chancellor Palpatine, what a great sight. Are you alright? Palpatine, yes. Thanks to your two Jedi Knights, they killed Count Dooku. But General Grievous has escaped once again. Mace, Mace Windu. General Grievous will run and hide, as he always does. He is a coward. Palpatine. That may be true, but with Count Dooku dead, he is the leader of the droid army. I assure you, the Senate will vote to continue the war as long as Grievous alive, is alive. Mace Windu. The Jedi Council will make finding Grievous our highest priority. Bail, Anakin, and the crowd walk away from the platform towards Senate Building Grand Hallway. Bail Organa. Skywalker, the Republic cannot praise you enough. Anakin and Bail Organa. Walking in the hallway. I'm just going to call her Organa. Anakin, thank you, Senator Organa. The kidnapping was a bold move by the Separatists, but it was a mistake that Obi-Wan and I were able to take advantage of. R2 and 3P... Uh, 3PO. Follow... Uh, follow behind the crowd. C3PO. It couldn't possibly be as bad as all that. R2 beeps. C3PO con continuing. Well there, well, there, I agree with you. In fact, I could do with a tune-up myself. Anakin is at the back of the crowd of senators talking to Organa. R2-D2 and C3PO scoot along ahead of them. Ahead of them. Organa, Organa, the end of the count to... The end of Count Dooku will surely bring an end to this war, and the end to the Chancellor's Drakian. Thirty-six is one quarter. Okay. All right. Chancellor is very clear about that. Behind a row of large columns, a shadowy figure follows the Jedi, in the and the Senator Anakin senses the figure, Bill Organa. I'll do everything I can with the Senate. Anakin, excuse me? Yeah, Organa, certainly. 
If you don't mind, can you add 36 and 36 together? I can't do that while reading. Anakin stops, and Bale goes after Palpatine and the others. Anakin goes behind one of the dying poems. Oh, man, you messed up. I guess you gotta start over. <laughs> no, I'm not starting over, Jonah. I guess you gotta start no. over. I don't care, no. We're already an hour in. No way. You're <laughs> I'm on page 40. <laughs> 72. 72 is halfway through. Anakin stops, and Bale goes You're off after Palpatine. <laughs> I don't care, Jonah. Anakin goes behind one of the giant columns to meet up with the, the shadowy figure, who is revealed to be Senator Padme Amidala. They embrace and kiss. Padme, oh, Anakin, thank goodness you're back. Anakin, I miss you. So, Padme, there were whispers that you've been killed. I've been living with uh, unbearable dread. Ah, uh, shoot, where was I? Oh, here. Anakin, there were whispers that you've been killed. I've been living with unbearable... I already read that. And I'm back, all right? It feels like we've been apart for a lifetime. Great job, Jonah. You woke up my cat. Chancellor had been kidnapped. I don't think they would have ever brought us back from the Outer Rim sieges. She steps back. Wait, not here. He grabs her again. Anakin, yes, here. I'm tired of all this deception. I don't care what... I don't care if they know we're married. Pat... Uh, scroll down one more. Padme, Anakin, don't say things like that. You're important to the Republic, to the ending of this world. A war. Uh, I love you more than anything, but I won't let you give up your life as a Jedi for me. Anakin, I've given my life to the Jedi Order, but, I've, but I'd only give up my life for you, Padme. Playfully, I won't, I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that one bit. Patience, my handsome Jedi. Come to me later. It embraces her, then looks at her. Are you right? You're trembling. What's going on? I'm just excited to see you. That's not it. I sense more. What is it? Nothing, nothing. Anakin, you're frightened. Tell me what's going on. Padme begins to cry. You've been gone five months. It's been very hard for me. I've never felt so alone. There's... Anakin, is there someone else? Padme peeped with anger. No, why do you think that? Your jealousy upsets me so much, Anakin. I... I do nothing to betray you you yet you still don't trust me nothing has changed and i can cheapest i'm afraid of losing you padme that's all i'll never stop loving you and i can my only fear is losing you Another page down and i can it's just i've never seen you like this padme something wonderful has happened continuing i'm and continuing i'm dot 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 annie i'm pregnant Anakin is stunned. He thinks through all the ramifications of this. He takes her in his arms. That's wonderful. What are we going to do, Anakin? I'm not going to worry about anything right now, all right? This is a happy moment. The happiest moment of my life. Can't lay down, okay? Stop it. The small Nemodian shuttle lands. Valdroids surround the ramp. General Grievous descends onto a platform. G-21 approaches. The plant is secure, sir. The population is under control. Good. What is the Separatist Council? This way, sir. Takes General Grievous takes the elevator to an upper level. He enters a conference room and presses a series of buttons on the table and bows. Got another. A hologram of Darth Sidious appears. General Grievous, yes, Lord Sidious. Lord Sidious, General Grievous, I suggest that you move the Separatist leaders to Mustafar. General Grievous, it will be done, my lord. Darth Sidious, the end of the war is near, General. I promise you, victory is assured. The hologram of Sidious talks, talks to Grievous about death of Count Dooku. General Grievous, but the loss of Count Dooku? Darth Sidious, his death was a, was a necessary loss, which will ensure our victory. Soon, I will have a new apprentice, one far younger and more powerful than him. Lord Tyranus. Padme stands in the, in the balcony, brushing her hair. Anakin leans against the wall, watching her lovingly. Anakin, every second... Blah, blah, blah. Shoot, I just lost my place. Dot, 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 dot. Every second, I was thinking of you protecting the endless, nameless, outer rim settlements. Settlements became a torture. The battles were easy. The longing, be the longing became unbearable. I've never been half 
so happy as I am at this moment. Annie, I want to have her baby back on Naboo. We could go to the lake country where no one would know where we would be safe. I could go early and fix up the baby's room. I know it was a perfect spot right by the gardens. And I can, you're so beautiful, Padme. It's only because I'm so in love. And I can know it's because I'm in love with you. So this love blinded you. Well, that's not exactly what I meant, but Padme, that's probably true. They laugh, and I can, I haven't laughed in so long, Padme, neither have I. The view, strangely distorted and disorientating. Padme is on the table in an alien medical chamber. She's giving birth and screaming. Anakin, help me. Help me, Anakin. Anakin, I love you. I love you. She screams and dies. Nice. <laughs> Anakin awakens in a panic, covered with set. He looks over in the bed to see Padme, sound asleep next to him. <laughs> yes, Ryan G. F. <laughs> he is covered in sweat. He looks over in the bed, Padme, sound asleep next to him. Anakin gets out from under the sheets, sits on top of the bed, breathing heavily. He puts his hand, head in his hands and weeps. He regains his composure and leaves the room down the says stairs. Padme awakens and realizes he's gone. Padme, Anakin? She gets out of bed and goes downstairs to look for him. Anakin walks down a flight of stairs into a, uh, into a large verandaya. The vast city planet of Coruscant, smoldering from the battle, is spread out before him. He is distraught. Padme descends the stairs and joins Anakin on Verdetta. She takes his hand. He doesn't He doesn't look at her. Padme, what's bothering you? Anakin, nothing. Anakin touches the japper snippet of Padme's neck. Whatever that is. That Anakin gave her when... Oh, I guess it's a necklace that Anakin gave her when he was a small boy. Anakin continuing. I remember when I gave this to you. Anakin, how long is it going to take for us to be honest with each other? Anakin, it was a dream. Bad. Like the other ones I used to have about my mother before she died. And it was about you. They look at each other. A moment of concern passes between them. Tell me. Anakin, it was only a dream. Padme gives him a long worried look. Anakin takes a deep breath. Continu continuing. You die in childbirth. And the baby... I don't know. It was only a dream. Anakin takes Padme into his arms. Anakin, I won't let this one become a real one, Padme. They embrace, embrace them part. Padme, Anakin, this baby will change your lives. I doubt the Queen will continue to allow us to s allow me to serve in the Senate. And the count and if the Council discovers you are the father, you will be expelled from the Jedi Order. I know. Weird symbol. It's a weird symbol. Padme, Anakin, do you... I think Obi-Wan might be able to help us, Anakin, suspicious. Have you told him anything? Padme, no, but he's your mentor, your best friend. You must suspect something. Anakin, he's been a father to me, but he's still on the council. Don't tell him anything. Padme, I won't, Anakin. Anakin, I don't need his help. Our baby is a blessing, not a problem. Ooh, Yoda. Yoda and Anakin sit in Yoda's r room, deep in thought. Yoda... Emotions, pre-motion. Hmm. These visions you have. They are pain, suffering, death. Yourself you speak of, or someone you know. Someone. Close to you? Yes. Careful, you must be sensing the future, Anakin. The fear of loss is a path to the dark side. Anakin, I won't le let these visions come true, Master Yoda. Yoda, death is a natural part of life. Rejoice for those around you who transform into the Force. Mourn them, do not miss them. Do not attach leads of jealousy, the shadowed, the shadow of greed, that is. My voice is being destroyed here. <sighs> what, what must I do, Master Yoda? Train yourself to let go of everything you, you fear to lose. Anakin hurries down it. A temple hallway heading toward a Jedi briefing room. Several Jedi are exiting. Anakin rushes into the briefing room. By the time he reaches the chamber, the last of the Jedi are leaving. Only Obi-Wan remains at the front of the lecture hall. He is shutting off some holograms and, electron and electronic charts and maps. Obi-Wan, you missed, you missed the report on the outer rim sieges. Sorry, I was held up. I have no excuse. 
I have to use the bathroom real quick, so I'll be right back, and then I'll continue reading. Okay? Thanks, uh, like, a minute. I'll be back really, really fast. I promise. Uh, shoot. I was trying to do something, too. Alright, I'll be right back. Back, people. I promised I would be back. I told you I'm gonna open another uh, quick soda because uh, hydration. Hydration is important. Okay, it is very important. I'm put these back on. Let's see. Get a quick drink. In short, they are going very well. Can nah, I'm not going to pronounce that? Has fallen, and Master Volf's has moved his troops to Bolf's pity. Ankin, what's wrong then? Obi Wan, the Senate is expected to vote more executive powers to the Chancellor today. Well, that can only mean less deliberating and more in action. Is that bad? It will make it easier for us to end this war. Anakin, be careful. You're of your friend Palpatine. And can be careful of what? He has requested your presence. What for, Obi-Wan? He will not say. He didn't inform the Jedi Council? That's us unusual, isn't it? Obi-Wan, all of this is unusual. It's making me feel uneasy. You're probably aware that the relations between the Council and the Chancellor are stressed. Uh, Anakin, I know the Council has grown wary of the... T of the Chancellor's... Oh, what just happened? Chancellor's power. Mine also, for that matter. Aren't we working together to save the Republic? Why all this distrust, Obi-Wan? The Force grows dark, Anakin. We are affected by it all. We are affected by it. We are all affected by it. <laughs> Be wary of your feelings. Anakin stands with Palpatine at the window of his... Over... At his window, overlooking the vastness of Coruscant. Coruscant. Landscape. Palpatine. Anakin, this afternoon, the Senate is going to call on me to take direct control of the Jedi Council. Anakin, the Jedi will no longer report to the Senate. Palpatine, they will report to me personally. The Senate is too unfocused to conduct a war. They will bring a quick... This will bring a quick end to things. Anakin, I agree, but the Jedi Council may s not see it that way. Palpatine, there are times when... Uh, when we must all endure adjustments to the con Constitution in the name of security. Anakin, with all due respect, sir, the Council is in no mood for constitution constitutional amendments. Palpatine, thank you, my friend, but in this case, I have no choice. This war must be won. Anakin, everyone will agree on that. Anakin, I know you. I've known you since you were a small boy. I've advised you over the years when I could. I'm very proud of your accomplishments. You have won many battles the Jedi Council thought were lost. You saved my life. I hope you trust me, Anakin. Anakin, of course. Palpatine, I need your help, son. Anakin, what do you mean? Palpatine, I fear the Jedi... The Jedi, the Council, keeps pushing for more control. They're shrouded in secret, uh, secrecy and obsessed with maintaining their autonomy ideals. I find simply... I find it simply incomprehensible in a democracy. <clears throat> hey, I'm over, uh, I'm over a third through. Nice. And I can, I can assure you that the Jedi are dedicated to the values of the Republic, sir. Palpatine, never le nevertheless, their actions will speak more loudly than their words. I'm depending on you. And I can, for what? I don't understand. Palpatine, to be the eyes, ears, and voice of the Republic. Anakin thinks about this. Palpatine continue. Continuing. 
Anakin, I'm appointing you to be my personal representative on the Jedi Council. Me, a master? I'm overwhelmed, sir, but the Council elects its own members. They will never accept this. Puffin, I think they will. They need you more than you know. Padme, Bill, Organa, Organa. The Senators, Mon Mothrema, Fengzar, Tertanel, and Gideon Danu sit in Senator Organa's office. Things are, things are. When did this happen? Bill Organa, the decree was posted this morning. Padme, do you think he will dismantle the Senate? Mon Mothma, why bother? All practical matter. The Senate no longer exists. Gideon Danu, the Constitution is in shreds. Amendment after amendment. Executive di directive sometimes a dozen in one day. Bill Organa, we can't let a thousand years of democracy disappear without a fight. Everyone looks at each other, a little worried at the implications of what was just said. Tear Tannel, what are you suggesting, Bill Organa? I apologize. I didn't mean to sound like a separatist. Mon Mothma, we are not separatists trying to leave the Republic. We are loyalists trying to preserve democracy in the Republic. Bill Organa, it has become increasingly clear to many of the Chancellor of us to the Chancellor has become an enemy of democracy. Uh, in the Republic. Bill Organa is... Nope. Padme. I can't believe it has come to this. Chancellor Palpatine is one of my oldest advisors. He served as my ambassador when I was queen. Gideon Danu. Senator, I feel you underestimate the power of corruption that has taken hold in the Senate. Mon Mothma. The Chancellor has played the Senators well. They know where the power lies. They will do whatever it takes to share in it. Palpatine has become a dictator, and we have helped him to do it. Bill Organa, we can't sit here debating any longer. We have decided to do what we can to stop it. Senator Mon Mothma and I are putting together an organization. Padme, say no more. Senator Organa, I understand. At this point, it's better to leave something unsaid. Bill Organa, yes, I agree. And we must not discuss this with anyone without everyone in this group agreeing. That means those closest to you, even family, no one can be told. They all nod their head. Padme commit considers this for a moment. Padme, agreed. Anakin stands pensively in front of the Jedi Council chambers. The door is open. Anakin enters and stands in the middle of the room. He is sur surrounded by Jedi Council. Mace Windu, Eve Koth, Obi-Wan, Yoda, the holograms of Flukun, and I'm not pronouncing that last name. I'm, j I'm just not going to. Kaya Mundi? I lied. Mace Windu. Mace. Anakin Skywalker, we have approved your appointment to the Council as the Chancellor Personal Representative. I'll do my best to uphold the principles of the Jedi Order. Yoda. Allowing this appointment lightly, the council does n does not. Disturbing this is moved by Count uh, Chancellor Palpatine. Anakin, I understand. You are on this council, but we do not rank you. We do not grant you the rank of master. Anakin reacts with anger. What? How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. I'm more powerful than any of you. How can you be on the council and not be a master? Mace, take a seat, young Skywalker. Anakin, give, forgive me, Master. Anakin goes and sits in one of the empty chairs. Everyone is embarrassed. Kai Aid Mundi, who appears as a hologram, speaks. Kai, Kai, I'm just going to call him Mundi, okay? Mundi. We have surveyed all systems in the Republic and, and have found no sign of General Grievous. Yoda, hiding in the outer rim, rim Grievous is the outlying system you must sweep. Obi-Wan, it may take some time. We do not have many ships to spare, Mace. We cannot take ships from the front line. Mace. Or, sorry. Obi-Wan, and yet it will be fatal for us to allow droid armies to regroup. Oh, yes. This is the best part. 
Master Kenobi, our spies contact you, then must wait. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? Mace Windu. <laughs> it is critical that we send an attack group there immediately. He's right, the system we cannot afford... He's right, that is a system we cannot afford to lose. It's the main navigation route for the Southwestern Quadrant. Anakin, I know that the system... I know that system well. It will it would take us a little more time to drive the droids off this planet. Off that planet. Mace, Skywalker, your assignment is here with the Chancellor, and Kenobi must find General Grievous. Yoda, go. I will. Go I will. Good relations with the Wookiees, I have. Yes, the Wookiees. The Wookiees, yes. Mace. It is settled then. Yoda will take a battalion of clones to reinforce the Wookiees on Cash Ship. May the Force be with us all. Anakin is disappointed. Anakin and Obi Wan walk through one of the massive Jedi Temple hallways. Anakin is furious. Anakin, what kind of nonsense is this? Is this? Uh, shoot, I just lost where I was. Uh, what kind of nonsense is this? Put me in the count. Put me on the council and not make me a master. That's never been done in history of the Gen uh, Jedi. It's insulting. Obi-Wan, calm down, Anakin. You've been given a great honor to be on the council at your age. It's never happened before. Listen to me, Anakin. The fact of the matter is, you're too close to the chan uh, Chancellor. The council doesn't like it when he interferes with Jedi affairs. Anakin, I swear to you, I didn't ask to be put on the council. But it's what you wanted. Your friendship with the Chancellor Palpatine seems to have paid off. Anakin, that has nothing to do with this. Anakin, regardless of how it happened, you find yourself in a delicate situation. You mean divided by loyalties. Obi-Wan, I warned you. There was tension between the Council and the Chancellor. I was very clear. Why didn't you listen? You walked right into it. Anakin, the Council is un upset I'm the youngest who ever served. Hey, my cat finally fell back asleep. It's about time. being a bit annoying. Alright. Obi-Wan, but it's what you blah blah blah. Oh, I got it. Scroll down. Obi-Wan, no it's not, and it can I worry when you speak of jealousy and pride. Those are not Jedi thoughts. They're dangerous. Dark thoughts. And can master of all people should have confidence in my abilities. I know where my loyalties lie. Obi-Wan, I hope so. Anakin, I sense there's more to this talk than you're saying. Obi Anakin, the only reason the Council has approved your appointment is because the Chancellor trusts you. And, Obi-Wan, Anakin, look, I'm on your side. I didn't want to see you put in this situation. What situation? Obi-Wan takes a deep, deep breath. <sighs> Gotta narrate that part. The Counselor wants you to report on all of the Chancellor's dealings. They want to know what he's up he's up to. Anakin, they want me to spy on the Chancellor? That's treason. Obi-Wan, they are we are at war, Anakin. The Jedi Council is sworn to uphold the pr principles of the Republic, even if the Chancellor does not. A Anakin, why didn't the Council give me this assign why did the, didn't the Council give me this assignment when we were in session? Obi-Wan, this assess this assignment is not to be on record, the council asked me to approach you on this personally. The chancellor is not a bad man, Obi Wan. He, he befriended me. He watched out ever since I arrived here, Obi Wan. That's why you must help us. Our allegiance is to the Senate. Scroll down. No, uh, not to its leader who managed to stay in office after his term has expired. Anakin, master, the Senate demanded that he stay longer. Obi-Wan, yes, but use your feelings, Anakin. Something is out of place. You're asking me to do you're asking me to do something. I I, I guess what? I have no idea what that means. I'm just for green. You're asking me to do something against the Jedi Code, against the Republic, against a mentor, and a friend. That's what's out of place here. Why are you asking this out of me? The council is asking you. You doing math? I'm not doing math. Chat's doing math for me. I'm bad at math, but I'm reading. 
a Jedi gunship heads for the huge clone landing platform. Yo uh, Yoda, Mace, and Obi-Wan ride the gunship as it heads for the clone landing platform. Mace and Obi-Wan are sitting. Obi-Wan, Anakin did not take his assignment with much th enthusiasm. Yoda, too much under the sway of the Chancellor he is. Much anger there is in him. Too much pride in his powers. Mace, it's very dangerous putting them together. I don't think the boy can handle it. I don't trust him. Obi-Wan, he'll be alright. I trust him with my life. Mace, I wish I did. Obi-Wan, with all due respect, Master, he's not... Is he not the Chosen One? Is he not to destroy the Sith and bring balance to the Fourth? So the prophecy says... down a prophecy that misread could have could have been obi-wan he did not let me down he never has yoda i hope you're right and now the droid army's on kashik i will may the force be with you the gunship lands lands and the ramp lowers yoda exits the gunship mace and obi-wan stand and give him a brief bow and take off in the gunship Padme Speeder pulls up on to the landing platform. Captain Typho escorts Padme onto the Verdetta. I know. Where the two hand handmaidens, El and Mott, are waiting. Padme turns to Captain Typho. Yes, eight viewers. People like Star Wars. Padme. Thank you, Captain. Captain Typho. Rest well, my lady. Captain Typho gets back into the speeder and disappears into a cityscape. The handmaidens, Mont and El, approach Padme as a show of a figure moves in the background. C-3PO is standing nearby. I'll be up in a while. Mont, yes, my lady. C-3PO stands confused as the handmaidens turn and exit. C-3PO, is there anything I might do for you, my lady? Padme, yes. Make sure there are sec there are uh, make sure all security droids are working. Thank you, 3PO. The golden droid turns and exits. Padme stands and watches the sunset. The shadowy figure moves towards her. She senses something. Beautiful, isn't it? Padme jumps and turns around. Padme, you startled me. He sits next to her on the bench. Anakin, how are you feeling? Padme, he keeps kicking. Anakin, he? Why do you think it's a boy? Padme laughs. My mother, my motherly intuition. She puts his hand on her belly. Anakin, whoa, with a kick that strong, it's gotta be a girl. They laughed. Padme, I heard about your appointment, Anakin. I'm so proud of you. Anakin, I may be on the council, but they refuse to accept me as Jedi Master. Padme, patience, in time they will recognize your skills. Anakin, they still treat me as if I'm a Padawan learner. They fear my power. That's the problem. Padme. Anakin. <sighs> That's what Soda does. Imagine if I was muted this entire time. Seriously. Literally. Um, oh my gosh. Is my volume too low? Ah, for some reason, my mic volume was low. I believe it's... I gotta turn it down a little bit. That should be good. That should be better. I have no idea why my mic volume was so low. Uh, let's see, Anakin... Oh, sometimes I wonder what's happening to the Jedi Order. I think this war is destroying the principles of the Republic. Padme, have you ever considered, considered that we may be on the wrong side? Anakin, suspicious. What do you mean? Padme... What if democracy thought we were, uh, we thought we were serving no longer exists, and the Republic has become very evil? We had, evil, we have been fighting to destroy. Anakin, I don't believe that. You're sound, you're sounding like a separatist. Padme, Anakin, this war represents a failure to listen. Now you're closer to the Chancellor than anyone. Please ask him to stop fighting and let dip, diplomacy resume. Anakin, growing angry. Don't ask me to do that, paid me. Make a motion in the Senate. <laughs> Make a motion in the Senate. Where that kind of request belongs. I'm not your errand boy. I'm not anyone's errand boy. Padme, what is it? 
Anakin, nothing. Padme, don't do this. Don't shut me out. Let me help you. Anakin, you can't help me. I'm trying to help you. They look each other in the eyes, continuing. I sense there are things you're not telling me. Padme is thrilled by this. I sense there are things you're not telling me. Padme smiles. Anakin is a little embarrassed. Scroll down another page. Padme continuing, hold me like you down the bat Naboo so long ago. There was nothing but love, no pol politics. I was about to say politics. No plotting, no war. Anakin lands. First text to me, I don't care, okay? I can hear the vibration of my phone. I'm reading. Anakin lands his speeder and exits. Anakin runs up the stairs at Galaxy's op Oprah house. Anakin runs through the hallway and enters Palpatine's box, where the Chancellor is sitting with, uh, with Masameta and Sly Moore, watching Man Calvert doing Squid Lake. Let's see, uh, Anakin, you want to see me, Chancellor Palpatine? Yes, Anakin, come closer, I have good news. Our clone intelligence units have discovered the location of General Grievous. He is hiding in Utapa system. Anakin, at least he'll be able to capture that monster and end this war. Palpatine, I would worry about the collective wisdom of the Council if they didn't select you for this assignment. They're best. You are the, uh, you are the best choice by far, but they can't always be trusted to do the right thing. Anakin, then try. Palpatine, sit down to his aid, uh, to his aides. Leave us. Anakin sits next to Palpatine. Chancellor leans over to him. Palpatine continuing. Anakin, you know I'm not able to rely on the Jedi Council. If they included you in their plot, if they haven't included you in their plot, they soon will. Anakin, I'm not sure I understand. Palpatine, you must sense what's... You must sense what I have come to suspect. The Jedi Council want control of the Republic. They're planning to betray me. Anakin, I don't think Anakin can search our feelings. You know, don't you? Anakin, I know they don't trust you, Palpatine. Or the Senate, or the Republic, or democracy for that matter. Anakin, I have to admit, I must try... I, I must trust in them. My trust in them has been shaken. Palpatine, why? They asked you to do something that made you feel dishonest, didn't they? Anakin... Doesn't say anything. He looks down. Palpatine, continuing. They asked you to spy on me, didn't they? Anakin, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Palpatine, remember? Back to your early teachings, Anakin. All those who gain power are afraid to lose it. Even the Jedi. The Jedi use their power for good. Palpatine, good is a point of view, Anakin. And the Jedi point of view is not the only valid one. The Dark Lord's... <laughs> Visky. Yes, it is. Good is a point of view, Anakin. The Jedi... And the Jedi point of view is not the only valid one. The Dark Lords of the Sith believe in security and justice also, yet they are considered by the Jedi to be... Anakin. Dot dot dot. Evil. How far am I in? Uh, the halfway through is page 71. Okay? Or 72. 72 is halfway through. I'm on 61. So I I'm pretty far in. Palpatine, remember, blah, blah, blah. See, evil. Palpatine, from the Jedi's point of view, the Sith and the Jedi are similar in almost every way, including their quest for greater power. The difference is the two, the Sith, are not afraid of the dark side of the Force. That is why they are more powerful. The Sith rely on their passion for their strength. They think inward only. About themselves. The Palpatine and the Jedi don't? The Jedi are selfless. They only care about others. Palpatine smiles. Palpatine. Or so you've been trained to believe. Why is it then that they have asked you to do something you feel is wrong? Anakin, I'm not sure. Palpatine. Have they asked you to play, betray the Jedi cold, uh, code, the constitution, a friendship, your own values? Think, consider their motives. Keep your mind clear of assumptions. The fear of losing power is a weakness for both the Jedi and, a Sith, and the Sith. Anakin is deep in thought, Palpatine continuing. Did you ever hear the tragedy of da Dar Darth Plag uh, Plagueis the Wise? Anakin, no. I thought not. I thought not. It's not a story Jedi would tell you. It's a Sith legend. Darth Plagueis was a Darth Lord. 
Dark Lord Wit of the Sith. So powerful and wise, he could use the Force to influence midi uh, chlorians, chlorians to create life. He had such knowledge of the dark side that he could keep other ones he cared about from dying. So he could actually save people from death? The dark side of the fourth is the pathway to many abilities some may consider unnatural. What happened? He became pow so powerful, the only thing he was afraid of was losing his power. Which eventually, of course, he did. Unfortunately, he, unfortunately, he taught his apprentice everything he knew. Then the... Uh, his apprentice killed him in his sleep, Smiles. Plagueis never saw it coming. It's ironic, he could save others from death, but not himself. Anakin, is it possible to learn his pow this power? Palpatine, not from the Jedi. And it switches. A Wookiee Caterman flanked... Ten viewers. Yes, Star Wars. Get a quick drink. A Wookiee Catterman flanked by the Wookiee helicopters approaches the tree housing the hologram area. Yoda and various Jedi speak via hologram. The discussion includes Obi-Wan, Mace, Agen, Kohler, Yoda, Mundi, and Plukun. Mundi, holo, uh, holo. Palpatine thinks General Grievous is on Utapa. We have no reports of this from our... We have no... We had no reports of this from our agents. Bull Bones 2 is so good. I don't know what that is. Anakin. A partial message was intercepted, uh, intercepted in a diplomatic packet from the chairman of UTAPA. Yoda. Act on this we must. The capture of General Grievous we will, will end this war quickly and decisively. We should proceed. Obi-Wan, does everyone agree? All the Jedi concur. Anakin, the Chancellor has requested that I lead the campaign. You look at Anakin a bit disturbed. Mace, a little peeve, the Council will make up its own mind. Who is to go? Not the Chancellor. Yes, the decision is ours to make. Anakin is, a bar is embarrassed and becomes sullen. Yoda, a master is needed with more experience. Mace, give her... Given our resources, I recommend we send one Jedi, Master Kenobi. Anakin. He was not so successful the last time he met Grievous. Obi-Wan throws Anakin a dirty look. Anakin continuing. No offense, my master, but I'm only stating a fact. Oh no, you're quite right, but I, but I do have the most experience with his ways of combat. Yoda, Obi-Wan is my choice. Uh, Obi-Wan, my choice is... Mundi, I concur Master Kenobi should go. Yoda, I agree. All the Jedi concur. Mace, very well, the, can the council is adjourned. Anakin is angry. Mace, continuing. Obi-Wan, prepare to clone brigades as quickly as you can. If, if this report is true, there's no telling how many battle droids he may have with him. Yoda gets out of his chair and walks to the edge of the platform. Clone Commander Gree, the drones... The droids have started up their main power generators. Yoda, the time, the now, then now the time is, Commander. Clone Commander Gree, yes sir. The battle begins. A Wookiee chieftain lets out a roar as the Wookiee army rushes to the face of the droid army. Corporate Alliance tank droids race across the water against the Wookiees and clone troopers on the beach. Droid gunship ships provo uh, provide air support while a spider droid emerges from the watery depths a brave wookie places an explosive on the separatist tank and jumps off just before the tank explodes from the hologram area yoda observes the ongoing battle padme padme's apartment building is surrounded by a small shrouded city of coruscant, coruscant. padme and obi-wan sit on the couches has Anakin been to see you? Several time. I was so, so happy to hear he was accepted by the Jedi. Council. I know he deserves it. He's impatient, strong-willed, very uh, opinionated, but truly gifted. Padme. You are not here just to say hello. You're not here just to say hello. Something 
is wrong, isn't it? Obi Wan, you should be, uh, you should be a Jedi, Padme. Not very good at hot. Padme, you're not very good at hiding your feelings. Obi-Wan, it's Anakin. He's becoming moody and detached. He's put in a put in a difficult position as the Chancellor's representative. But I think it's more than that. I was hoping he may have talked to you. Uh, why would he talk to me about his work? Obi-Wan studies her. Neither of you are good at hiding your feelings either. Don't give me that look. Obi-Wan. I know how he feels about you. Padme, nervous. What did he say? Oh, we on nothing. He didn't have to. Padme is a little flustered. He st she stands out, and Obi Wan follows. He walks towards the balcony. I don't know what you're talking about. Obi Wan, I know both of you too well. I can see you two are in love, Padme. I'm dot 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 worried about him. Padme looks down and doesn't answer. Obi Wan continuing. I fear your relationship has confused him. He's changed considerably since we've returned. They stand on the balcony and look off into the early morning city. Obi-Wan starts to leave. Padme says, looking off into the distant city. Obi-Wan continuing, Pad continuing, Padme, I'm not telling the council any of about any of this. I, I hope I didn't upset you. We're all friends. I care about both of you. Padme, thank you, Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan, please do what you can to help him. Padme Mon Mothma. The other five and the other five senators, uh, I'm not reading those names. Sit on Padme's living room. See, three PO serves drinks to the guest. Padme, we cannot let this turn into another war. Bill or Ghana, absolutely. This is the last thing we want. Mon Moth Mothma, we hope, we are hoping to form an alliance in the Senate to stop Chancellor from any, uh, from further subverting the Constitution. That's all. Padme, I know a Jedi. I feel it would be wise to consult. Ben Bruna, that would be dangerous. Mothma, we don't know where the Jedi stand in this. I only wish to discuss with the one, the one I trust. Scroll down again. Uh, I gotta go up one notch. Danu, going against the Chancellor without the support of the Jedi is risky. Padme, the Jedi aren't any happier with this situation than we are. Patience, Sander. Things azar. We have so many senators on our side, surely that will persuade the Chancellor. Bramu. Uh, when do you present the pension of the 2000 to the Chancellor? This may change things. Organa. Let's, let us see what we can accomplish in the Senate before we include the Jedi. Padme takes a deep breath in frustration and disappointment. Anakin and Obi-Wan wa walk onto a landing platform overlooking a docking bay where thousands of clone troopers are armored and armored weapons, tanks, etc., are being loaded into massive, into a massive Republic assault ship. Anakin, you're going to need me on this one, Master. Master. Get a quick drink. Oh, I agree. However, it may turn just to be a wild uh, bantha chase. Obi-Wan starts to turn and leave. Anakin, Master. Obi-Wan stops and Anakin walks over to him. Anakin, continuing. Master, I've disappointed you. I have not been very appreciative of your training. I've been arrogant and I apologize. I've just been so frustrated with the Council. Your friendship means everything to me. Obi-Wan, you are strong and wise, Anakin. I'm very proud of you. I've trained you since you were a small boy. I've taught you everything I know, and you have become far greater Jedi than I could ever hope to be. And then you have saved my life more times than I can remember. But be patient, Anakin. It won't be long before the Council makes you a Jedi Master. Obi-Wan starts down the ramp and turns back, continuing. Don't worry, I have enough clones to take with me to take three systems the size of Utapa. I think I'll be able to handle the situation, even without your help. Anakin, well, there's always a first time. Obi-Wan laughs. We talk for a few more minutes before Anakin watches Obi-Wan depart. Anakin, Obi-Wan, may the Force be with you. Goodbye, old friend. May the Force be with you. Obi-Wan heads down the ramp towards, toward the waiting Republic cruiser. The Republic cruiser lifts off and heads for space. Clone troopers stand at attention in rows of the floor hangar deck, waiting for boarding craft. Obi-Wan stands next to his, his blue fighter, T-34. 
to, uh, talking to several clone commanders. With their helmets off, a hologram of the planet Utapa projected R4 by R4G9 into the middle of the hangar. Clone Commander Cody. Fortunately, most of the cities are concentrated on uh, on this small continent here, on the far side. Obi-Wan, I'll keep them distracted until you get there. Just don't take too long. Co Clone Commander Cody. Come on, boss. When have I ever let you down? They laugh. Obi-Wan laughing. Kato Nemodia, for starters. Obi-Wan climbs into his Jedi fighter. Clone Commander Kobe. That was Anakin who was late, I believe. Obi-Wan, very well. The burden is on me not to destroy all the droids before you get there. Clone Commander Cody, I'm counting on you. Obi-Wan blasts the blue fighter out, uh, out of the Republic battle cruiser and into hyper into the hyperspace ring. He heads for the plant Utapa. The Chancellor's transport races through the city and heads for the Senate office building landing platform. Where the landing platform is a lone Jedi, the transport lands and Chancellor pa uh, Palpatine emerges with, with four loyal guards. The Maz, Ameta, the four royal guards move off into the in another direction as Palpatine greets Anakin, who has been waiting for him. Palpatine, well, Anakin, did you see your friend off? Anakin, he will soon be have Grievous's head. Palpatine, we can only hope the council didn't make a mistake. Anakin, the council was very sure in its decision. That they exit the landing platform. They enter the main hallway of the Senate office building. They pass several senators, including Rep Representative Jar Jar Binks from Naboo. Jar Jar, hello, Annie. Good in to see you, sir. The, uh, the Gungan waves to Anakin. Anakin, hi, Jar Jar. Jar Jar, Upus and the Chancellor. So sorry, your highness, sir. Anakin turns back to the Chancellor. Palpatine, there are rumors in the Senate that Master Kenobi, many believe he is not fit for the assignment. Anakin, not fit. Why would anyone think that? Uh, Palpatine, they say his mind has become fogged by the influence of a certain female senator. Anakin, that's ridiculous. Who? Palpatine, sly, sly, uh, no one knows who she is. That, only that she's a senator. That's impossible, I would know. Yes, mother? Two things. You have a science project due tomorrow? I don't know. No? Okay. I think you do. Yes. And you need to help Christian shovel the driveway. I'll do that after. That's impossible. I would know. Sometimes the closest are the ones who cannot see. Akin becomes worried, palpitating, continuing. Idle Senate gossip is rarely true and never accurate. I'm sure your master will do fine. Padme calls out in pain. Obi-Wan is near her and softly speaks to her. Obi-Wan, save your energy. Padme, I can't. Obi-Wan, don't give up, Padme. Don't give up. Anakin is in the living room working. He sits on the couch where Obi-Wan was sitting. Padme enters and crosses behind him. I sense something familiar. Obi-Wan's been here, hasn't he? Padme, he came this morning. What did he want? He looks at him for a moment. Anakin seems tense. He's worried about you. You told him about us, didn't you? He continues to walk to the bedroom. He follow follows. He's your best friend, Anakin. He says you're under a lot of stress. Alright, so we are officially at page 72. Okay? So we're going to take a quick half break. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, we're, uh, what's it? Uh, we're going to take a 10 minute break. Ah, oh, darn it. 10 minute break. Okay. You're on break. Uh -huh. And I guess I'll just sit here and give my voice a little rest for 10 minutes. Okay. Actually, I'm probably going to go grab something to eat. How are you guys enjoying the story?
No, my, my jaw's fine. It, it's more of my uh, voice that kind of hurts. I've had at least three pe uh, different people send me snaps of, <laughs> snaps of me just reading. <laughs> Get a nice glass of water. I have a water bottle and a can of Coke right next to me. I'm okay. I gotta go use the bathroom real quick, though. I've had at least, like, three different people send me snaps <laughs> of me just casually reading. Yes. <laughs> I'll be back. Before the timer has ended. A whole one back. Uh, how much time have we got on the timer? We got five minutes. All right. Well, if we got five minutes, I'll grab a pack of crackers. Ah, where's the box of my crackers? I know I have it in here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Crackers. Okay, crackers. We're just gonna sit here, uh, Jackson. Yes. Uh, we are about to hit our uh, hour mark. Someone just snapped me, said I'm wasting my time. Are they insane? I am not wasting my time, and if you are on stream, I am not. No. I am not wasting my time. This is completely worth it. Okay? Yes! Mmm. Mm-hmm. They are on stream. They're saying that they are insane. Yes, you are insane, okay? They responded. They are on stream. So one, thanks for the support, but I am not insane. <laughs> oh. No, Jackson, it wasn't you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, really, eh? <laughs> is that really how it is? No, but actually, be serious. It is. Is that actually how it is? <laughs> oh, they don't want to type in chat because of this reason. Okay, I'm okay with that. Oh, great. Oh, really? Huh? I'm, I'm going to send that to Jackson. There you go, Jackson. Southfield, you have only been here since the beginning. I'm curious to you, you're going to be here the whole time. You suggested this. I don't think he was. I better also get it. I better also get it, though, because I'm reading the book. Well, it's not even a book, it's the script. <laughs> Grab another cracker. I mean, as many crackers as I can in the last two minutes. Oh. They just said that they've been here the whole time, too. Well, I didn't even know that, so. I don't care. <laughs> Honestly? If this stream went on for three days because the script's so long, I honestly think Alfio would never leave. Ever. It seems like a him thing to do. He, he loves this series way too much, just like me. <laughs> I wonder if Sen's in stream. Hey Sen, you in stream or are you just too sad? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sen just said, how long will the stream last? I hit the halfway mark. We got another two hours. <laughs> At least. <laughs> we got another two hours. Alright, one more cracker. Cracker goes into the drawer. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Now, Theo, William, and Jackson, you're going to get a kick out of this one. They just said they're bored. Do something entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson know who it is. I sent him a picture. He's going to spam you. Alright. Timer's up. I hear the beeping. Timer off. Got it. Yeah. Oh, and just saying, guys, I'm going to give you a little warning. I'm, I'm just going to give you a little warning if, uh... If you want to make it to the end. I'm going to be reading the end credits, too. I'm going to read all the end credits. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Stick around for the end credits. <laughs> we know you want to watch those out. <laughs> Alright, let me get one more drink. Ooh, soda. Let's set up. Let me do one last thing to get ready. It's a good thing I took this break. My voice is feeling a little bit better. Anakin, and he's not. Padme, you have been moody lately. Anakin, I am not moody. Padme, Anakin, don't do this again. Anakin, I don't know. I feel lost. Padme, lost? What do you mean? You, you're you always so sure of yourself. Yes, I know, Jackson. You've been here from the beginning. It's good. 
Anakin, Obi-Wan and the Council don't trust me. Padme, they trust you with their lives. Obi-Wan loves you as a, soon, a son. Anakin, something's happening. I'm not the Jedi I should be. I'm one of the most powerful Jedi, but I'm not satisfied. I want more. I know something I should... Get out of here, phone. You're interrupting my reading. My reading is important. Get out. Kitty. My cat's still behind me. My cat's definitely enjoying this. I put her right to sleep. <laughs> Anakin, I found a way to save you. Save me from my nightmares. Is that what's bothering you? Anakin, I won't lose you, Padme. Padme, I'm not going to die in childbirth, Annie. I promise you. Anakin, no, I promise you I'm becoming so powerful with my new knowledge of the Force. I'll be able to keep you from dying. Padme looks Anakin in the eye. You don't need more power, Anakin. I believe you can protect me against anything. Just as you are. They embrace and kiss. Now, hear me out, guys. Hear me out, okay? Hear me out with this one. Technically, technically. If you want to save Padme, just use the force and kill the kid. Never, No more childbirth. Easy. It works. I'm going to get a lot of backlash from Alfio with that one. Obi-Wan blasts out of the blue uh, Jedi fighter hyperspace ring and heads for the planet Utapu. The blue fighter skims over the planet's surface, flat except for a few giant sinkholes. Obi-Wan lands his ship on the platform, projecting out of the side of a giant sinkhole. All is quiet. A local administrator, Tide Medan comes out to greet the ship. Obi-Wan climbs out of his fighter as a short ground crew looks over his ship. On a ledge above the landing platform, Grievous's body watches as Obi-Wan talks to Tian Medan. I'm just going to call him Medan. Greetings, young Jedi. What brings you to our remote sanctuary? Obi-Wan, unfortunately the war. Medan, there is no war here unless you've brought it with you. Obi-Wan, with your kind perm permission, I should like some fuel and to use your city as a base as I search nearby systems for General Grievous. A ground crew rushes out, out and refuels Obi-Wan's fighter. Midon leans close to Obi-Wan and speaks quietly. He is here. We are being held hostage. They are, they are watching us. Obi-Wan, I understand. The 10th level, 10 thousands of battle droids. Obi-Wan, Tell your people to take shelter. If you have warriors, now is the time. Obi-Wan starts back to his towards his starfighter. As uh, Tian Madan leaves the landing platform, Grievous' bodyguards retreat from the overhead platform. Obi-Wan climbs back into his blue Jedi fighter, and his astro unit R4-G9 turns to him. Obi-Wan continuing. Genie, take the fighter back to the ship. I'm staying here. Tell Cody I made contact. The little asteroid... Uh, the astro droid beeps with a reply. On the high uh, balcony, Medan looks down the landing platform. A few steps behind him, uh, behind him stands one of General Grievous's bodyguard. They watch the canopy lower. I told you, all he wanted was fuel. What was his name? He didn't say. They watch as the blue fi Jedi fighter takes off. Obi Wan watches his ship take off. He is hiding in the hallway. Quietly, he moves farther into the city. Uh, yeah. Obi-Wan quickly rushes up the stairway, cut into the side of the sinkhole. It's hard to see him in, in an alcove. He carefully surveys the city, then quickly moves on. Obi-Wan makes his way through the city, looking up at the 10th level with electro binoculars from his util utility belt. He tries to figure out how he's going to get up there. He hears strange bellowing cries, and he investigates. He comes to a coral filled with a half dozen dragon-like lizards, several wranglers still standing around. Obi-Wan walks up to the wranglers they, and uses the force with, this, uh, with his sleight of hand movement. I need transportation. Uh, subtitle in native tongue. You need transportation. Obi-Wan, get it for me. I'll get it for you. 
one of the wranglers turns into the other uh turns to the other and chatters away in his strange tongue obi-wan walks through, along the line of dragon slash lizards checking out each one he looks at their teeth legs etc finally he pats one on the neck obi-wan this one the wrangler brings the chosen one over to him wrangler boga she answers to boga hold on good girl boga obi-wan swings onto the back of the lizard the beast rears up and scurries outside of the edge uh, of the sinkhole. The lizard boga rears up on her hind uh, legs again, then climbs up the wall of the sh of the sheer cliff and starts moving up towards the tenth level. Level. The city appears to be deserted. Obi Wan is alert. Uh, to any movement. General Grievous stands before the Council of the Separatists, including Nuke Gunray, Rune Hako, Poggle the, Poggle the Lesser, uh, that's a super long, uh, Shumai, uh, Neto, Tamar, Argente, <laughs> Obi-Wan, hides above the assembly and watches intently. General Grievous, it won't be long before the armies of the Republic track us here. I'm sending you to must to the Mustafar system in the Outer Rim. It is a volcanic planet, which that generates a great deal of scanning interface. You will be a safe there. New gun race safe. Chancellor Palpatine managed to escape your gri uh, grip. General, without Count Dooku, I have doubts about your ability to keep us safe. General Grievous, be thankful, Vicery. You have not found yourself in my grip. Your ship is waiting. Obi-Wan is deep in thought. The Jedi removes his cloak and jumps down. Yes! Yes, Alfio, yes! Yes, say it. Say it in chat. Behind the general. Hello there. General Kenobi, you are a bold one. I find your behavior bewildering. Surely you realize you're doomed. The droids kill him. After about a hundred battle droids surround Obi-Wan, General Grievous and his bodyguards, Obi-Wan looks around, then walks right up to uh, General Grievous. They stare at each other for a moment. General Grievous, enough of this. The bodyguards raise their power staffs to knock Obi-Wan away, but Obi-Wan ducks as the... Hold up, let me scroll down. Uh, but Obi-Wan ducks as the deadly staffs whistle over his head. Jedi, The Jedi lightsaber ignites. Obi-Wan, uh, shoot, I looked away. Deftly cuts one bodyguard in two. He's, his staff flies into the air and is caught by General Grievous. The other three bodyguards attack Obi-Wan with intense fury. Obi-Wan uses the force to release a piece of equipment from the ceiling. It drops on the bodyguards, smashing them. Obi-Wan walks towards Grievous, slashing the last bodyguard to pieces. Battle droids move toward Obi-Wan. General Grievous, back away. I'll deal with this Jedi slime myself. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to say scum, but you know what? Whatever. Obi-Wan, your move. Jedi, uh, General Grievous, you fool. I've been trained in your Jedi arts by Count Dooku himself. Attack, Kenobi. His arms separate and grab all four lightsabers on his belt. His four arms create a flashing display of swordsmanship. Obi-Wan, I f you forget I trained the Jedi that defeated Count Dooku. Obi-Wan is hard-pressed to defend himself against the deadly, deadly onslaught. They fight across the control room as the battle droid sharpshooters try to pick off the Jedi. Obi-Wan mounts a ferocious counterattack and cuts off one of Grievous's hands. A loud explosion is heard echoing throughout the sinkhole. John Grievous and Obi-Wan glance to the entrance uh, control center to see clone troops in the distance attacking droids in the sinkhole. On the far wall of the sinkhole, clones can see, be seen grappling onto, bal uh, grappling onto balconies. Obi-Wan, I may not defeat your droids, but my troops cer certainly will. Army or not, you must realize you are doomed. Obi-Wan, I don't think so. Twenty clones sun suddenly grapple into the entrance of the control center, raise gun- Ray, guns blazing, chaos, laser bolts fly everywhere as the droids return fire. Obi-Wan attacks General Grievous, who defends himself rigorously with one of the bodyguard's electro-staffs. 
Obi-Wan uses the Force to hurdle General Grievous backwards. He falls onto the lower platform, and Obi-Wan jumps down after him. I feel like an idiot, because I'm pretty sure I just realized the chat's not open for YouTube. <laughs> Boy, I had the randomest thought ever. Why did I think of this halfway through? Seriously, just why? Just... I feel like... I don't know why I didn't... I have the randomest thoughts, okay, but it's fixed now. More clones grapple into the control center and blast away the remaining droids. The Jedi cuts down several droids as he races to the entrance of the control center. Obi-Wan spots General Grievous racing toward one of the landing platforms in the midst of the battle. General Grievous jumps onto the wheels, jumps onto a wheel scooter and takes off down the hall of down the wall of a sinkhole. Obi-Wan whistles for his lizard boga who runs to him. Obi-Wan jumps on. He changes the chase begins. Obi-Wan drops his lightsaber while riding Boga. The sun is setting at all as all the lights come on in the massive Senate office building. The sky is red. Palpatine listens to the delegation from the Senate, which includes Padme and five other senators. Yeah, ah. Uh, I forgot to turn on that. Yeah. And five other senators. Uh, Alvar, Zar, Mad uh, Madi, Sweet, Kronkokil, Calamari, and Anakin stands on one side of Palpatine. Oh, this is that part. I understand your reservations completely, Senator. I assure you the, the appointment of the gunner, uh, governors will in no way complete the duties of the Senate. Padme, may I take it then? Uh... There will be no further amendments to the Constitution. I want this terrible conflict to end as much as you do, my lady. And when it does, I guarantee an, immediately ret an immediate return to democracy. You are pursuing a diplomatic solution to war, then. Palpatine, uh, you must trust me to do the right thing. Right thing, Senator. That's why I'm here. But surely the Chancellor... But surely. The Chancellor turns on things are... Palpatine, I have said I will do what is right. That should be enough for you, committee. Padme, on behalf of the Delegation of 2000, I thank you, Chancellor Palpatine. I thank you for bringing this to my atten attention, Senator. Padme gives Anakin a frustrated look, then looks, then turns and exits the other, uh, with the other five Senators. Palpatine turns to Anakin. Palpatine continuing. Their sincerity is to be admired, although I sense there is more to the request than they are telling us. What do you mean? They are not to be trusted. Sure, se uh, surely Senator Amidala can be trusted. Let's see, these are unstable times for the Republic, Anakin. Some see instability as an opportunity. Senator Amidala is hiding something. I can see it in her eyes. Anakin. I'm sure you're mistaken, Palpatine. I'm surprised your Jedi insights are not making more sensitive, are not more sensitive to such things. Anakin, I simply don't see sense betrayal in Senator Amidala. Palpatine studies Anakin carefully with, and gives him a skeptical look. Yes, you do, but you just, but you don't want to s admit it. There's much conflict in you, Anakin. I'm not reading all those names. Talk via holograms. Clone Commander Cody, Mace Windu, may I interrupt? General Kenobi has made contact with General Grievous, and we have just begun our attack. Thank you, Commander Anakin. Uh, deliver this report to the Chancellor. His reaction will give us a clue to his intentions. Yes, Master. Leaves the room. Commander Cody's hologram disappears. Mace Windu, I sense a plot to destroy the Jedi. The dark side of the Force surrounds the Chancellor. If he does not give up his emergency powers after the destruction of Grievous... Then he should be removed from office. Mace Windu, that would be a dangerous move. The Jedi Council won't take a, won't have to take control of the Senate in order to secure a peaceful transition, and replace the Congress with senators who are filled with greed and corruption. To a dark place, this line of thought will carry us. Hmm. Great care we must take. Anakin brings news to Palpatine. Anakin, Chancellor will have just. Chancellor, we have just received 
a report from Master Kenobi. He has engaged General Grievous. Palpatine, we can only hope that Master Kenobi is up to the challenge. Anakin, I should be there with him. Palpatine, it's, it is upsetting to me that you... Uh, it is upsetting to me to see that the Council doesn't seem to fully appreciate your talents. Don't you wonder why they won't make you Jedi Master? Anakin, I wish I knew more, and more I get the feeling that I'm being excluded from the Council. I know there are things about the Force they are not telling me. Palpatine, they don't trust you, Anakin. They see your future. They know your power will be too strong co to control, Anakin. They must break through the fog of lies. And you must break through the fog of lies. The Jedi have created around you. Let me help you uh, to know the sub uh, subtleties of the Force. They walk into the hallway. How do you know the ways of the Force? Palpatine. My mentor taught me everything about the Force. Even the nature of the dark side. Then, uh, they stop. I don't care about you stupid notifications. No! Okay. Uh, and can you know the dark side? Hold up. Anakin, uh, if one is to understand the great mystery, one must study all its aspects, not just the dogmatic narrow view of the Jedi. If you wish, uh, to, uh, if you wish to become a complete and wise leader, you must embrace a larger view of the Force. Be careful of the Jedi, Anakin. They fear you. In time, they will destroy you. Let me train you. Anakin, I won't be your opponent in a, in your political game. The Jedi are my family. Palpatine, only through me can you achieve greater power than any Jedi. Learn the, uh, learn to know the dark side of the Force, Anakin. You will be able to save your wife from certain death. What did you say? Use my knowledge, I beg you. Anakin, you're a Sith Lord. Anakin ignites his lightsaber. I know what has been troubling uh, you. Listen to me. Don't continue to be a pawn of the Jedi Council. Ever since I've known you, you've been searching for a life greater... Uh, than that of an ordinary Jedi. Life, uh, a life of significance, of consent. Anakin, you're wrong. Aunt Palpatine, are you going to kill me? I would certainly like to. Uh, Palpatine, I know you would. I can feel your anger. It gives you focus, makes you stronger. Anakin raises his lightsaber to Palpatine's throat. There's a tense moment, then Anakin relaxes and turns off his lightsaber. I'm going to turn you over to the Jedi Council. Of course you should, but but you're not sure of their intentions, are you? What if I'm right and they're plotting to take over the Republic? I will quickly discover the truth all, uh, of all this, Palpatine. You have great wisdom, Anakin. Know the power of the dark side, the power to save Padme. Anakin stares at him for a moment. Uh, Palpatine turns and moves to his office, Palpatine continuing. I'm not going anywhere. You have time to decide my fate. Perhaps you'll reconsider and uh, help me rule the galaxy for the good of all. Palpatine sits behind his desk. Obi-Wan gives his, the, uh, the lizard a swift kick with the heel of his boot. Then they take off down the vertical side of the sheer cliff. The, uh, as General Grievous reaches the landing platform where the shuttle is waiting, Obi-Wan drops to, uh, onto the top of the starship with his, uh, with his lizard. General Grievous spins his scooter around and takes off the top of the vertical cliff face. Uh, with Obi-Wan and his lizard in hot pursuit, the sinkhole is engulfed in a hot, great battle between clones and droids. The people of Utapa cower in whatever shelter they can find. A large group of Utopian troops on lizards attack the droid army. Uh, Obi-Wan and General Grievous race through the city at breakneck speed, passing through battle zones, nearly escaping explosions, laser bolts, and troops from both sides. General Grievous lays the scooter down as he's going around sharp turns. Obi-Wan's lizard, uh, breathes hard as she tries to keep up. They destroy droids, equipment, and, and clone troops as the Jedi and the General cut swath of destruction through the city. General Grievous worked his way 
out onto the rim of the sinkhole, passing some wind blades. The evil droid general releases the brakes uh, on the lethal blades. They begin uh, to spin, cutting off Obi Wan's access to general. Uh, to the uh, access to the general, Obi Wan's lizard pulls up short in front of the blades. John Grievous laughs as he talks into a comm link. John Grievous, prepare to move out of orbit. I will be up in a few moments. Obi Wan sizes up the uh, sizes up the upper, uh, situation, looking for a way to get General Grievous. The general ex accelerates off the edge, activating his claws, dropping drops and clings to another nearby grouping of windmills. Obi Wan's lizard attempts to jump, attempts to jump to follow and barely makes it, almost falling into the I'm not reading that below. Uh, General Grievous roars through the stone block tunnel, riding up, up on the curved uh, curved walls as he goes around corners and passes oncoming traffic. Obi Wan races after the droid. His lizard his lizard moving onto the ceiling as they pass traffic. Obi Wan catches up with General Grievous as and they charge through the tunnel side by side. Obi-Wan grabs the droid's electronic staff. Uh, hold up. Yeah, I gotta do something really quickly. Cat, sit down. Cat, stop it. Stop it, cat. Alright. Extending the, uh, from the wall of a small sinkhole is a secret landing platform with a... With a small Federation fighter sitting in the middle of it, Obi Wan and General Grievous race out of the tunnel system and onto the landing platform. Obi Wan yanks on the staff and jumps off his lizard onto General Grievous's scooter, knocking both warriors to the ground. General Grievous pulls, pulls out a laser pistol and fires at Obi Wan. The Jedi reaches out his hand, grabs General's electro staff, and spins the staff, blocking the laser bolts. Obi Wan charges. General Grievous swinging the staff, hitting the droid in the stomach, knocking the gun away. Grievous is hit by the staff, and the force bends his forearm. Pulling Obi he pulls Obi-Wan close to him, and they engage in a furious fight. The Electro staff is knocked away, the two engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Obi-Wan struggles to avoid deadly blows of the brutal, unstoppable droid. General Grievous' stomach plate is loose. Obi-Wan grabs it and rips off it off. Revealing the alien life form guts encased in a ba uh, in a bag of the in the droid's chest, Joel Grievous grabs onto Obi Wan and hoists him over his head, and tosses him across the platform. Obi Wan dangles off the edge of the platform. He clutches at the rim, uh, clutches the rim to trying to hold on. The droid then grabs the staff and charges Obi Wan. At the last second, Obi Wan reaches out his hand and uses the force to retrieve the droid's laser pistol. The Jedi fire several blasts in the stomach area of the alien droid. And he explodes from the inside out. The smoldering droid falls to the ground. Obi-Wan was Obi-Wan has killed General Grievous. F. He pulls himself up onto the platform and walks uh, by the destroyed carcass. The Jedi fires fire uh, several laser blasts into the stomach area of the alien droid. And he is ex and he explodes from the inside out. Oh, I already read that. Oh, walks past the destroyed carcass. Obi Wan, so uncivilized. Obi Wan uh, brushes himself off. He throws the pistol onto the platform, picks up the electro staff, and jumps on Boga. the uh, The trusty beast rears up and takes off on into the tunnel system. <clears throat> Mace and the Jedi, uh, I'm not reading those, are preparing to board the Je a Jedi gunship to the Chancellor's office. Anakin enters the, ha uh, enters the hangar. Mace Windu, I must talk to you. What is it, Skywalker? We are in a hurry. We just received word that Obi-Wan has destroyed General Grievous. We are on our way to make sure the Chancellor returns emergency power to the Senate. Anakin, he won't give up his power. I, I've just learned the terror... Uh, uh, a terrible truth. I think Chancellor Palpatine is a Sith Lord. A Sith Lord? Anakin, yes, the one that we've been looking for. How do you know this? He knows the ways of the Force. He's been trained to use the dark side. 
Are you sure? Anakin, absolutely. Mace Windu, then our worst fears have been realized. We must move quickly if the Jedi Order is to survive. Anakin, Masters, Chancellor is very powerful. You will need the help of... You'll need my help if you're going to arrest him. For your own good, stay out of this affair. I sense a great deal of confusion in you, young Skywalker. There, mu uh, there is much fear that clouds your judgment. I, I must go, Master. Mace Windu, no. If what you told me is true, you will have gained my trust. But for now, remain here. Yes, Master. Mace Windu, wait for us in the council chamber until we return. Anakin, yes, Master. Anakin watches as the Jedi leave in their ship. Intercut, whatever that means. Padme is alone in her apartment, thinking of Anakin. Anakin sits alone in the Jedi council, uh, council chamber, thinking of Padme. Palpatine, you do know, you don't you? If the Jedi destroy me... Any chance of saving her will be lost. Padme, I truly deeply love you. Before I die, I want you to know. CPO3. Uh, C3PO. My lady, are you are you alright? Anakin, I can't do this. I can't let her die. Anakin rushes to the council chamber and to his speeder. The hangar door opens and, let, and he lifts off. The sky is still blue as a Jedi gunship lands on the Senate... Office building landing platform. Board Jedi exit the shuttle and enter the Senate office building. Mace Windu. Uh, I'm not reading all the names. Like gunfighters out of their old west walk through the massive hallway for a cross. The four Jedi enter the lobby raising their arms and uh, and send the ch uh, Chancellor's uh, aid. Aid. Darwak flying against the wall. Along with two Republic guards, they storm into the Chancellor's office. Mace arrives with the three Jedi to arrest Palpatine. Palpatine, Mace Windu. I take it General Grievous has been destroyed them. I must say, you're he here sooner than expected. Mace Windu. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you are under arrest, Chancellor. Mace Windu. And the other Jedi ignite their lightsabers. Palpatine, are you threatening master, uh, me, Master Jedi? The Senate will decide your fate. Palpatine, I am the Senate. Mace, not yet. Palpatine stands a... Darn it. Another laser sword. Appears out of his cloak spin... Uh, appears out of his cloak sleeve and he spins towards the Jedi. It's treason then. A close shot of, Pal uh, of Palpatine as the first fight begins. Closest shots of the three Jedi getting cut down by Palpatine. Palpatine and Mace continue to fight. Jedi Master Mace Windu and the Sith Lord fight their way down the hallway to the main office area. Palpatine is able to use the Force to slam Mace against the wall, but then he recovers before the Chancellor can cut him down. Anakin lands his speeder, jumps out, and runs a, uh, down a long corridor towards the Chancellor's office. <clears throat> In the heat of battle, Mace cuts the window behind the Chancellor's desk, and... It crashes away. Mace, Mace is forced out onto the ledge, which is 20 stories up. They fight over the precipice. Anakin arrives to see Palpatine and Mace fighting. They stop as Mace forces Palpatine to drop his sword. Palpatine and Mace start yelling at each other. You are under arrest, my lord. Palpatine. Anakin, I told you it would come to this. I was right. The Jedi are taking over. Mace Windu, you old fool. The oppression of the Sith will never return. Your plot to regain control of the Republic is over. You have lost. No. No. You will die. I remember that part. <sighs> Palpatine raises his hands and lightning bolts shoot out. They are blocked by Mace's lightsaber. Palpatine is pushed back against the windowsill. Palpatine. No. Oh, I already read that. He is a traitor, Anakin. He's the traitor. Stop him. Come to your senses, boys. The Jedi are in a revolt. They will betray me. Y you just said they... As they betrayed me. Miss Windu. Argh! No, I'm just going to name that constant yelling. You are not one of them, Anakin. Don't let them kill me. Miss Windu continues yelling. I am your pathway to power. I have power to save the one you love. You must stop him. Miss Windu, don't listen to Anakin. Help me. Don't let him kill me. I can't hold on any longer. And he slowly dies. Mace pushes Palpatine. Mace pushes Palpatine out of the edge 
of the ledge. As the Jedi moves closer, so the bolt the bolts from Palpatine's hands begin to arc back on him. Chancellor's face begins to twist and distort. His eyes become yellow as his struggle in intensifies. Is power. Palpatine, I can't. I give up. Help me. I am weak. I'm too weak. Don't kill me. I'm, I give up. I'm dying. I can't hold on any longer. Mace Windu, you Sith disease. I'm going to end this once and for all. Anakin, you can't kill me. Uh, kill him, Master. He he must stand trial. Mace Windu. He has too much control over the Senate and the courts. He is too dangerous to be kept alive. Palpatine. I am too weak. Don't kill me, please. It's not the Jedi way. Mace raises his sword. To, uh, it's a lightsaber, not a sword. Anakin. Continue. He must live. Please don't. Please don't. I need him. Palpatine. No. Anakin in all bold. No. Take a drink of water. Uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just as Mace is about to slash Palpatine, Anakin steps in and cuts off the Jedi's hand holding the lightsaber. As Mace stares at Anakin in shock, Mace Palpatine springs to life. The full force of Palpatine's power bolts past Mace. His attempted his attempts to deflect them. Were, with his one good hand, but the force is too great. The blue rays engulf his body. He is flung out of the window and falls 20 stories to his death. No more screams, no more moans. Palpatine lowers his arm. Palpatine, power, unlimited power. His face, is change his face changed into a horrible mask of evil. Anakin looks on in horror. Palpatine crackles. Anakin, what have I done? Anakin sits. Palpatine, you're fulfilling your destiny, Anakin. Become my apprentice. Learn to use the dark side of the force. Anakin, I will do whatever you ask. Palpatine, good. Just help me save Padme's life. I can't live without her. I won't let her die. I I want the power to stop death. Scroll down one more. Palpatine, to cheat death uh, to cheat death is a power only one has achieved. But if we work together, I know we can discover the secret. Anakin kneels before Palpatine. I pledge myself to your teachings, to the way of the Sith. Palpatine, good, good. The Force is strong with you, a powerful Sith you will become. Henceforth, you shall be known as Darth Vader. Thank you, my master. Rise, Darth Vader. Palpatine moves over to his desk. Yoda winces at closing his eyes. He holds his head. He feels a disturbance in the Force. Palpatine is putting on his dark cloak. He is now fully Darth Sidious. Pal- Uh, whoa, what just happened? Okay, right here. Because the Council did not trust you, my young apprentice, I believe you are the only Jedi with no knowledge of this plot. Uh, when the Jedi learn what has transpired here, they will kill us, along with the Senators. Anakin, I agree. The Jedi's next move will be against the Senate. Every single Jedi, including your own friend Co obi wan is now an enemy of the Republic. Do you understand that, don't you? Don't you? I understand, Master. Scroll down. Palpatine, we must move quickly. The Jedi are relentless. If they are not all destroyed, it will be a civil war without end. I want you to go to the Jedi Temple. We will catch them off balance. Do what must be done, Lord Vader. Do not hesitate. Show no mercy. Only then will you be strong enough to uh, with the dark side, Padme. Uh, I'm getting spammed. No. See, what about the other Jedi spread across the galaxy? Palpatine, their betrayer must be dealt with. After you have killed all the Jedi in the temple, go to Mustafar's system. Wipe out Vicery Gunray and the other Separatist leaders. Once more, the Sith will rule the galaxy, and and will we will shall have peace. Anakin goes to the Jedi temple with the with a battalion of clone troopers. The battle between the clones and the droids rages throughout the sinkhole. Obi-Wan rides up to the clone Commander Cody. Commander, contact your troops. Tell them to move to higher levels. <laughs> Very good, sir. Clone Commander Cody starts to move away. Then he remembers something and returns to Obi-Wan. Continue. Oh, uh, oh, by the way, I think you'll be needing this. He hands Obi-Wan his lightsaber. At, and the lizard rears up. Obi-Wan, thank you, Cody, smiling. Now let's get a move on. We got a battle to win here. Yes, sir. Sen, 
Yes, I am still reading this. That's why I'm not joining voice chat in Discord, because I am reading. I'm on page 95 of 144. I'm going to end this. <laughs> You know, I'm realizing this is becoming longer than the movie itself. <clears throat> Probably because every single thing is described in words here. <clears throat> Obi-Wan, uh, I know I did, but then I began reading. So, no sin. Maybe later. Obi-Wan, the lizard, right off down the wall... Of a giant sinkhole, the battle rages throughout the city. Clone Commander Cody 2224 takes out his comm link and listens to the hologram of Darth Sidious. As far as below... Yes. Yes. Everyone, Alfio. Yeah, Alfio will like this part. Everyone does. Can be seen battling droids on the landing platform. Darth Sidious, Commander Cody, the time has come. Execute Order 66. Commander Cody, it will be done, my lord. The hologram disappears. Commander Cody, blast him! Uh, gestures to a nearby clone trooper. Blast him. The battle rages all around Obi-Wan. Droids and clones are everywhere. Obi-Wan is riding on a lizard, cutting down droids. As he raced... <sighs> Fine, Sen. Fine. I don't have a better voice. My voice is already half destroyed because of this. I, I can't do a better voice. <clears throat> I, I, <clears throat> I can't. I don't think my voice acts like that. Execute order 66. That's about as low as it can go right now before... It, it's just not okay. Okay? I've been reading for 95 pages straight. The bell re uh, blah, 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 blah. He looks... Thank you. He looks around just in time to see his clone troopers are firing on him. Obi-Wan falls five, uh, hundreds of feet to the bottom of the water-filled sinkhole. The sky slowly awakens on the, crist, uh, on the crystal world of Megiddo. The battle rages, clone troops battle droids' armies. Mundi uses his lightsaber to deflect enemy, uh, to deflect enemy fire. Uh, clone commander... Bakaros exits a gunship near the entrance of the city. He rallies his troops to attack the city. Then he gets a message on his comm link and moves to the side of the uh, hologram. He, uh, further into the shadows. Darth Sidious, Commander 1138. Yes, sir. Darth Sidious, time has come. Execute Order 66. There you go, Sen. Is that better? Huh? Huh? Renew some of the scenes, yes. Oh my gosh, they need to make a new recreation of this movie. Who agrees? It will be done, my lord. Uh, Darth Sidious fades, and the clone commander snaps the uh, snaps the comm link closed, and looks to the main plaza of the city, where Mundy is leading the charge. His clone stop. Mundy's turns around and is blasted by clone fire. He is killed before he can uh, defend himself. F. A column of clone walkers march across the forest floor. The strange calls of the alien forest of Felicia, <laughs> the Jedi Ala Sakura, and her clone troopers brace for an ambush. Steady, steady. They look. Uh, they all look for signs of enemy. Clone Commander Bly moves up behind the Jedi. Bly, do you think they're droids? Bly, no. Bly blast out. Uh, Awila, <laughs> in the back. The other clones fire on her as she hits the ground. Another Jedi, Ophi, is, cut, uh, is cutting down a patrol of droids when a cl clone walking tank and seven clone troopers round a corner and blast the Jedi away. Yoda drops his uh, gimmer stick, clutches his chest, and rests against the wall. The battle appears to be over. Wookiees stack a destroyed droids while clones assess the damage to, the, uh, to their equipment. A Jedi... Lunar Undul Unduli talks with eight clone officers standing in a corner. Suddenly, they reveal their hidden pistols and, and blast her before she can before she can react. Jedi Quinn Vos is riding on top of a clone turbo tank. 
The, the main cannon of the second tank slowly swinges to point right at him and a couple of clones. The cannon fires and Quinvos and the clones disappear in a huge explosion. The clone pilot watches the hologram of Darth Sidious. Execute Order 66. It sucks, I know, Sen, but I don't care. It will be done, my lord. Plo Koon heads, uh, heads his ship towards the bow of the landing platform. There they are... Uh, there they are to land on the nearest platform. The four clone pilots with Flo Koon drop back and blast him out of the sky. Three speeder bikes race across the floor. Uh, forest. A Jedi Stas Ali is in the lead. Two clones following her drop back and blast her, causing her to crash in a huge explosion. Darth Sidious stands alone in his private office, uh, uh, private offices, illuminated only from hologram projector beam beneath his, uh, from above. A small hologram of Commander Grey stands in front of him. <laughs> uh, yes, my lord. Darth Sidious, it is, the time has come. Execute Order 66. A vista of waterways, high green mesas, and giant tree backdrop for a fierce battle. Clones and Wookiees against the Trade Federation droid armies. We are treaded uh, Clone Commander Gree holds his comlink. It will be done, my lord. Uh, Gree snaps his comlink shut. <clears throat> <clears throat> Gotta get a drink of water. <clears throat> yeah. Page of my own. Hey, about to be on page 100. A vista of waterways. Uh, I've already read that. Yoda watches from the balcony. The battle rages as clones and the Wookiees attack droids coming across the water on, on corporate alliance tanks. Uh, tank droids. Chewbacca and Tartful stand on either side of the Jedi Master as he watches below. Commander, Clone Commander Dr uh, Gree, one officer, walks to the balcony toward Yoda, stands looking over the battlefield below. When they are close enough, the clones reveal their weapons and fire. But faster than the clones can reveal their weapons. Yoda ignites his lightsabers, leaps into the air, and beheads both clones. Chewbacca and Tarful fire their weapons as more clones enter the hall. The Wookiees call out to Yoda to follow them. Chewbacca picks up Chewie! Yes! And carries them away. Chewie! A Jedi is surrounded and gunned down by the clone. Just a Jedi? Oh, oh, okay. Anakin walks through the temple where he finds and kills Shek T L. He exits Shek Ty's oh T I. He exits Shek Ty's room and enters a hallway where the battle is taking place. Shut up, Zeta. Yes, I'm still alive. Why? Cause I'm reading the book. Alfio left before? How dare he? You've missed Alfio, you literally just missed the entire Order 66 part. <laughs> You're going to be upset about that one. Man, I'm actually kind of glad he wasn't here, because I said some things that would trigger him. Uh, I have one more drink of water. I've already drinking half of this bottle. Anakin walks through the Jedi Temple where he finds the kills it finds and kills Shaq Tai. He exits Shaq Tai's room and enters the hallways where these uh where the battle is taking place. Anakin enters a room full of younglings huddled in a corner. Younglings Darn it, give me a moment. Hold up, I gotta do something. Something's not right on stream. See here. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I'm I'm fixing something. Ah, darn it! Stop breaking. Oh my gosh. That fixed. Anakin walks through the Jedi Temple where he finds and kills Shaktai. Blah blah blah. I already read that. Anakin enters a room full of younglings held huddled in a corner. Younglings, Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? Anakin looks back at them with a stern expression on his face and ignites his lightsaber. 
Uh, we're not going to mention what happens there. Uh, that is not YouTube okay. CP3O and Padme look out of, uh, out the apartment window. C3PO, the Chancellor's office, indicate Master Anakin returned to the Jedi Temple. Don't worry, my lady, I am sure he will be alright. Padme bursts into tears. Uh, city, the city planet is covered in a hazy glow. A column of black smoke can be seen rising in the distance. Bill Organa's, Organa's speed, uh, speeder flies overhead, straight towards the smoke. The Jedi Temple is on fire. Large plumes of smoke below, below towards the sky as Bill, uh, Organa lands his speeder on Jedi Temple platform. Four clone troopers stand guard at the entrance of the temple. They lower their guns as Bale gets out of his speeder and walks towards them. Organa, what's going on here? Clone Sergeant, there has been a rebellion. Don't worry, sir. The, uh, the situation is under control. The clones bar, uh, bar the senator from entering... Ban, I think that's supposed to say. Ban the senator from entering the temple. Clone Sergeant, I'm sorry, sir. No one is allowed entry. The clones point their guns at Bale and cock them. Clone Sergeant continuing. It's time for you to leave, sir. Organa says, and so it is. Bill reluctantly heads back towards the speeder. Suddenly, several shots ring out. Bill turns to see a ten-year-old Jedi, Zet Jekasa, fighting the clones. Several more clones join the fight, followed by a clone commander, Apo, 1119, who points at Bale. Clone commander, Apo. Get him! Shoot him! Several clones start firing at Bill. The center jumps from uh, for cover behind his speeder, starting the engines and pulling out his laser pistol. The young Jedi cuts several uh, down several clones, including Apo, before his, he is overrun and shot. The speeder takes off with Bale clinging to the side. The clones fire at it as it disappears into the cityscape. Bale Organa struggles to pull himself into the into the speeder as it races all. Uh, along through the cityscape. Finally, he climbs in. Just as the speeder is about to hit a building, Bear, uh, Bale steers clear of it. Uh, and uh, races away. Hey, we're past to page 100. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> yeah. The Jedi dives down, uh, dives below the surface amid a barrage of laser fire. He dives deeper under the water fumbling in his utility belt for bre uh, for a breathing device. He finds it and puts it in his mouth. He swims underneath the clone troopers uh, until the clone troopers give up and stop fi uh, firing. Obi-Wan removes his breathing apparatus after coming up from underwater. He starts to climb the rock wall. Obi-Wan climbs the wall to the second cave, just as two little seeker drones <clears throat> pop out of the water uh, with their searchlights glowing, Obi-Wan presses himself against the wall of a s of the smaller cave as the two seeker drones search the grotto. <laughs> One of the seekers begins to enter the cave in which Obi-Wan is hiding. Obi-Wan presses further into the wall. The light shines on the opposite side of the wall and moves back to the cave, illuminating a huge Nos monster. Obi-Wan holds his breath. The seeker is confused for a moment, then sees... Then the Nos monster lunges at the small droid and consumes it in one bite. <clears throat> the Nos monster's lunge takes him past Obi-Wan after, uh, out of the cave and into the water. The second seeker signs it, uh, shines its light on the Nos monster, and the, e and the evil uh, creature tries to grab the little, uh, the little drone. Obi-Wan slinks off towards the back of the cave. He comes upon a baby Nos monster. They screech uh, horrible sounds. Obi-Wan jumps over them and continues his way through the tunnel system. Clones uh, clones and modified one-man ATSTs and swamp speeders flash their searchlights across the gloomy lake. <clears throat> the light of one of the ATSTs spots something floating in the water. It is what's left of a Wookiee uh, Wookie Caterman run. The body of a dead Wookiee is lying across the stern wreckage of the flying boat. There is some movement on the boat. Clone Sergeant on the ATST fires a warning shot past the boat. <clears throat> Scroll down. 
I gotta use the bathroom really quickly, so I'll be right back. Real quickly. One minute. Cat. I am back. A little cat. <clears throat> ATST clone sergeant. Everyone out of there. A crazy little creature about two feet high pops its head over the rail. The creature is covered with mud. His long hair is frizzled out in all uh, uh, in all directions. Wookie, good. Eat Wookie. <laughs> Crazy little laugh. Uh, Clone Sergeant, did you find something? Creature, it's nothing, nothing, laughs. Uh, Clone Sergeant, it's nothing, nothing. All these Wookies are dead. Move to the east. Uh, Clone Trooper, yes, sir. Suddenly Chewbacca climbs up behind the ATSC clone, dripping wet, and throws the Clone Sergeant into the water. Chewie barks. Creature, right you are, Chewbacca. Faster that it will be it. Turful jumps up in the boat, and the creature takes off his hair. It's Yoda. Yoda stink, the mud, uh, stink, the mud does. A moment to give, uh, bath, give me. Yoda, covered with mud, jumps into the water. Turful climbs onto the ATST with Chewbacca. Yoda is out of the water and putting his robes back on. Yoda continuing. Not far are we f from the emergency ship, uh, emergency ship, quickly. Yoda whistles a, and a large alien flying insect called Cancel appears. Yoda jumps on the insect's, insect's back and they take off. The Wookiees follow uh, on the ATST. The clones continue to search the swamp. The ATST marches uphill and stops. The Wookiees jump down. Yoda lands on Cancel nearby. Chewbacca goes to a tree and pulls down one of its branches. The ground opens up. A small Wookiee escape pod rises into the field. Yoda opens the door of the pod. Yoda, goodbye, Chewbacca and Tarful. Miss you, I will. Good friends you are. For your help, much gratitude and respect I have. The Wookiees bark as the Jedi climbs... Uh, what? Oh. The Wookiees bark as Jedi climbs into the Wookiee pod and takes off into the dusk, uh, dusk sky. Bill Organa walks out of the tunnel into a huge underground platform with two of his aides. He is stopped by ro two royal guards. Royal guard, uh, identification, Bill Organa. Sir Bill Organa of Alderman. Bill and his aides hand them their ID cards. Royal guards, uh, the royal guards check them over and give them back. Then Bill and his crew walk aboard the starship. <clears throat> the platform rises into the surface of the office building. The Aldarian Star Cruiser takes off and disappears into the crisp morning sky. Bill Organa is greeted by Captain and Tills, two Aldarian troops. Bill Organa, were you able to get a hold of Jedi of the of a Jedi homing beacon? <clears throat> Captain Antils. Yes, sir. We've encountered no opposition. The clones are still a bit confused. It appears no one is in command. Bill Organa. That will change soon. Hopefully, we will be able to in intercept a few Jedi before they walk into this catra catastrophe. Wuan hides from a group of clone troopers. Clone Captain, did you find Keno uh, Kenobi? No one could have survived that fall. He watches them pass. Clone Captains, uh, start loading your men on the ship. Clone Trooper, yes, sir. Obi-Wan tries to sneak back to the uh, secret platform down a flight of stairs. <laughs> Obi-Wan makes his way out of the cave onto General Grievous' secret landing platform. He runs onto a starfighter and climbs in it, into the one-man ship. Starfighter takes off and disappears into the sky. 
Obi-Wan flies away from the planet Utapa in General Grievous's tiny starfighter. Obi-Wan activates the controls on the starfighter. He punches in several uh, coordinate codes, a beeping sound is heard, and it, it, is, it quickly speeds up until it is a steady tone. Obi-Wan speaks into his comm link. Obi-Wan, emergency code 913. I have had no contact on any frequency. Are there any Jedi out there? Anywhere? Burst of static is heard, and a fuzzy hologram image appears. Hologram, Kenobi. Uh, uh, Obi-Wan, I've locked on. Repeat. A fuzzy hologram in image comes into the focus, and it's Organa. The Organa. Uh, Organa. Master Kenobi, Obi-Wan. Senator Organa, my clone troops turned on me. I need help. Bill Organa, we have just rescued Master Yoda. It appears this ambush has happened everywhere. We're sending you our coordinates. Padme stands before the window of her living room, watching a plume of smoke from the Jedi Temple. C-3PO enters the bedroom. Uh, May Lady, there's a Jedi Starfighter docking on Ver uh, Verdanda. Uh, Padme turns and rushes into the bedroom. 3PO walks out to Anakin's ship and talks to R2. R2 beeps. 3PO, hush, not so loud. Padme rushes onto the Vernanda, and Anakin exits his green Jedi fighter. They embrace. Scroll down. Padme, are you alright? I heard there's an attack on the Jedi uh, temple. You can see the smoke from here. <clears throat> I'm fine, I'm fine. I came to see if you and the baby were safe. Captain Typho's here, we're safe. What's happening? C-3PO continues to talk to R2- D2 on the green fighter. So what's going on? R2, R2 squeaks and beeps. C3PO continuing. You can't be more confused than I am. Anakin, the situation is not good. The Jedi have tried to overthrow the pet a Republic. I can't believe that. I couldn't either at first, but it's true. I saw Master Windu att attempt to assassinate the Chancellor myself. C3PO lands over and whispers to R2. C3PO. Something important is going on. I heard a rumor that they're going to banish all droids. R2 beeps rather loudly. C-3PO puts his fingers on his lips. C-3PO continuing. Shh, not so loud. R2 beeps quietly. C-3PO. Whatever it is, we'll be the last to know. Scroll. Padme, Anakin, what are you two doing? Anakin looks down for a moment, then walks away from Padme. I will not betray the Republic. My loyalties lie with the Chancellor in the Senate, with and with you. Anakin turns and walks back to Padme. What about Obi Wan? I don't know. Many Jedi have been killed. We can only hope that he reman that he's remain loyal to the Chancellor. How could this have happened? The Republic is unstable, Padme. The Jedi aren't the only ones trying to take advantage of the situation. They are there there are also traitors in the Senate. Padme stands and reacts ever so slightly. What are you saying? We need to. Uh, you need to distance yourself from, uh, from your friends in the Senate. The, chan the Chancellor said they will be dealt with when this conflict is over. <laughs> when it. Uh, what if they start an Inquisition? I've opposed this war. Uh, what will you do if I become a suspect? That won't happen. I won't let it. Oh, and I can. I'm afraid. It takes Padme. Blah blah blah. Sorry, I lost myself. Had faith, my love, everything will be set right. The Chancellor has given me a very important mission. The separatist, uh, separatists have gathered in the Mustafar system. I'm going to end this war. Wait for me until I return. Things will be different, I promise. The kiss, Anakin, continuing, please wait for me. Pat, may I will. Scroll down. Anakin gets into his fighter as three, uh, three PO backs away. C-3PO to R2. Well, he is under a lot of stress. R2, R2 beeps, C-3PO continuing. Take care, my little friend. R2 beeps, say goodbye, and the fighter takes off. Padme is left alone on Fernanda. She starts to cry, 3PO. Comes up to her, C-3PO continuing. My lady, is there anything I can do? Padme, no thank you, 3PO. Is snack, perhaps? Padme, no. 3PO starts to move off. C-3PO, I feel so helpless. Uh, Obi-Wan ship docks with a... With Bail Organa's stair cruiser. Uh, I gotta scroll up one. The door to the main hallway slides open. Obi-Wan enters and is greeted by Yoda and Bail Organa. The three walk down the hallway. Bail Organa, you made it. Yoda, Master Kenobi, dark times are these. Good to see you. It is. 
Obi-Wan, you were attacked by your clones also? Yoda, with the help of the Wookiees, I barely escaped, uh, barely escaped, I did. Obi-Wan, how many other Jedi managed to survive? Heard from no one, have we? Organa, I saw thousands of troops attack the Jedi Temple. That's why I went looking for Yoda. Obi-Wan, have we had any contact from the temple? Uh, rece Yoda, received a coded, a coded retreat message we have. Organa, it requests all Jedi to return to the temple. It says that the war is over. <clears throat> it's too dangerous. Uh, Obi-Wan. Well, uh, okay. Well, there, we mu then we must go back. If there are other stragglers, they will fall into the trap and be killed. It's too dangerous to return. Suggest dismantling the coded message, do you? Yes, Master, there's too much at stake here. We need a clear picture of what has happened. Yoda, I agree. In a dark place we have found ourselves, a little more knowledge uh, might light our way. Let's see. Workers move across lava beds, gathering magma. A column of aliens riding, riding giant mustafar fleas marched forward. A hologram of Darth Sidious, hold up. A hologram of Darth Sidious is in the center of a room. Newt Gumray and the rest of the Separatist co uh, coalition watch Sidious. How many pages do we got to go, son? Uh, this is page 110. I have page 144. Is where I have to be. So, got about 30... Four more pages to go. A hologram of Darth Sidious is in the center of the room. Newt Gunray and the rest of the Separatist Coalition watch Sidious. Newt Gunray, the plan has gone as you promised, my lord. Darth Sidious, you have done well, Vicery. When my new apprentice, Darth Vader, arrives, he will take care of you. The hologram disappears. The Republic cruiser heads towards Cor uh, Coruscant. Obi-Wan, Bale, and Yoda, two pilots sit, and two pilots sit in the cockpit. We are receiving a message from the Chancellor's office, sir. Bill Organa, send it through. Yes, sir. The pilot pushes some buttons. Uh, Masameda appears on screen. Masameda, Senator, Senator Organa, the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic, requests your presence at a special session of Congress. To the Chancellor, I will be there. <clears throat> Masameda, very well. Uh, very well. He will be expecting you. Masamez's image uh, disappears from the screen. Bail or gone. It could be a trap. Obi-Wan. No, I don't think so. The Chancellor will not be able to control the thousands of star systems without keeping the Senate intact. Yoda, if a, if a special session of Congress there is, easier for us to get, enter the Jedi Temple it will be. Obi-Wan, Bail, and Yoda land on Coruscant. Uh, the elevator doors open. They step out. Guard, welcome back, Senator. May I see your clearance? Bill Organa, certainly. Guard, thank you. You may proceed. We will take custody of the Jedi. Buon, it would be better if you, uh, if we stayed with the commander. Guard, it would be better if we stayed with you. Bail and the aides go to the Senate. Obi a Yoda, Obi-Wan, head for the Jedi Temple. Anakin Shai Starfighter heads uh, for hazy, blood-red planet of Mustafar. Anakin flies over the volcanoes of Mustafar and lands his jet Starfighter on a... Uh, on a complex landing platform. His cockpit, uh, cockpit opens as R2-D2 pops from the ship with a happy beep. Anakin. R2, stay with the ship. R2 lets out a sad little beep and moves back toward the ship. Anakin, putting on his hood, walks across the walkway right, uh, upon arriving on Mustafar. Uh, Anakin appears in the doorway of the control center. New gunnery. Welcome... Welcome, Lord Vader. We've been expecting you. Everyone in uh, in the room looks to him, and he raises his hand toward a control panel, and all the exits close. The confused Separatists look around in bewilderment. Smoke from a uh, smoldering shell uh, from the smoldering shell of the Jedi Temple fills the air with brown haze. The dozen a dozen clone troopers stand guard at the entrance of the Jedi Temple. Suddenly, there is a flash of a lightsaber. A flurry of confusion, and all the clone troopers are dead on the floor. Yoda and Obi-Wan stand in the middle of the carnage. Obi-Wan, there are several 
uh, battalions of clone troopers on every level. Uh, many are dressed as Jedi. Dismantle the coded uh, signal quickly. The group back there will s uh, soon discovered will be. The awesome Senate, uh, the awesome Senate building looms over the city. The endless traffic continues to clutter the skyline. The Chancellor is in the podium center of the vast arena, giving a speech to Masameda. Stands on the right, set, uh, to the right of Sidious. Bill Organa walks through the hallway of the main Senate chamber. He changes the Senate pod of Naboo and sits next to Bad Padme Jar Jar. Certain as uh, Captain Typho. Two handmaidens are in the pot also. Palpatine. The Jedi rebe uh, Rebellion has been foiled. I was held up. What's going on? Padme, the Chancellor is elaborating on a plot by the Jedi to overthrow the Senate. Bill Organa, that's not true. He's been presenting evidence all afternoon. Organa, and, and the Senate will go along with it, just like they always do. Palpatine, the remaining Jedi will be hunted down and defeated. Applause. Any collaborations will suffer the same fate. Applause. These have been trying times, but we have passed the test. Yoda and Obi-Wan make their way through the temple, avoiding hundreds of clone troopers. They use the Force to distract the clones. When they can, y Yoda and Obi-Wan walk through the ruins of the temple until they come across the bodies of some students. Obi-Wan, not even younglings survived. Yoda, killed not by clones, this Padawan, by lightsaber he was. Obi-Wan, who? Who could have done this? Anakin ignites his lightsaber. New and the others panic. The droids at the controls and the guards grab their weapons, but it's too late. They are cut down in a flash. The separatists bang on the doors. The new and rune Hako flee under the table. Anakin, stone-faced, moves through the room like a grim reaper. Bodies drop everywhere. Screams are cut short as the head of banking clan dies. The Poggle, uh, the Poggle, the lesser, loses his head. Wat Tamor, Shumai, and the rest of the Separatists run into the conference room. Palpatine, the attempt on my life has left me scarred and deformed, but I assure you, uh, my resolve w has never been stronger. More applause. In the hallway, Anakin cuts down droids and Separatists alike. He is unstoppable. Anakin turns his head, and his eyes are yellow. <clears throat> How many more pages is that? Like, 30? Palpatine continues his speech at the podium. Palpatine, the war is over. Applause. The Separatists have been defeated. Applause. The Jedi Rebellion has been foiled. We, have stand, we stand on the threshold of a new beginning. There is a long period of applause. Padman, this, Padme, this is the moment we discover if he attend, intends to return to the public Return to the public, return the public to democracy. Why was that so hard to say? In order to ensure our security and continuing stability, the Republic will be recognized and uh, reorganized into the first galactic empire for a safe and secure society, which I assure you will last for ten thousand years. There's a loud cheer, uh, sustained cheer for the from the Senate. Bergana and Padme sit sit dumbfounded. Palpatine continuing, an empire that will continue to be ruled by this august body, and severing ruler chosen his life. The Senate cheers again. Bill Padme are devastated. Padme begins to cry. Palpatine continuing, continuing, an empire ruled by the majority, ruled by a new constitution. The Senate applauds. Padme, this is how liberty dies. With thunderous applause, Bill Organa, we cannot let this happen. He, he starts to stand up. Padme stops him. Not now. There will be a time. After everyone in the main control room is dead, Anakin moves over to the small conference room where Tambar, Mai, and the other Separatists are hiding. Hako tries to run, but is trapped by a dead end, and Anakin advances. Hako, stop. Enough is... Enough. This is not right. Rune is cut down. Gunray crawls out from under the table and opens the main door, allowing destroyer droids to enter. Wattenbar is cut down. My, the destroyed droids appear in the doorway and blast away, causing total destruction. When the firing is over, Anakin's gone. Blown away? No, Anakin drops from the ceiling behind the two droids and cuts them to pieces before they know what hit him. 
Gunray is the last Separatist leader alive. Anakin moves to find new Gunray hiding in an alcove. Gunray, the war is over. Lord Sidious promised us peace. We only want... That's it, that. New Gunray is cut down mid-sentence. <clears throat> Obi-Wan stands in a large computer area as Yoda looks on, in the hatchway to the main control center. I've recalibrated the code, warning all surviving Jedi to stay away. Yo, good. For the clones to discover the recalibration, a long time it will take to change it back. Longer. Still hurry. Let's see. Okay. Obi-Wan enters the main control center with Yoda and heads for the hologram area. Wait, Master, there's something I must know. Yoda, if if into the security recordings you go, only pain you will find, Obi-Wan. I must know the truth, Master. Obi-Wan moves to the panel and flips the switches. He sees a uh, hologram of Anakin slaughtering Jedi, including young ones Obi-Wan uh, Obi and Yoda react. Continuing, it can't be, it can't be. As Anakin surveys the carnage, a uh, dark road Sith Lord enters. Anakin turns to Darth Sidious and kneels before him. The traitors have been taken care of, Lord Sidious. Darth Sidious, good, good. You have done well, my new apprentice. Do you... Uh, do you feel your power growing? Anakin, yes, my master. Garcius, now Lord Vader, now go bring peace to the Empire. Obi-Wan watches in horror. horror. Tears roll up in his eyes. I can't watch anymore. Obi-Wan switches off the hologram. The two Jedi stand in silence for a few moments. Destroy the Sith, we must. <clears throat> Send me to kill em uh, the Emperor. I will not kill Anakin. To fight... Uh, to fight this Lord Sidious strong enough, you are not. He is my brother. I cannot do it. Twisted uh, by the dark side, young Skywalker has become. The boy train, the boy you trained is he gone he is, consumed by Darth Vader. How could it come to this? To question, no time there is. Obi-Wan, I do not know where the Emperor has sent him. I don't know where to look. Use your feelings, Obi-Wan, and you will find him. Visit the new Emperor. My task is, may the Force be with you. Obi-Wan, may the Force be with you, Master Yoda. DC-0052 Intergalactic Speeder pulls up to Renanda uh, landing Renanda landing of Padme's apartment. <clears throat> the cockpit of the sleek yellow Galactic Speeder opens. The hooded figure emerges and walks out onto a, uh, the Vernanda. An alarm goes off deep within the apartment. The figure stops before a certain... Before a security curtain that provides Fernanda C3, uh, that protects Fernanda, C3PO enters the Fernanda and approaches the figu uh, figure. Hello, might I help you? Oh, it's you, Master Ken Kenobi. Come in quickly. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, well, that water bottle's trashed now. Of course it is. I might have to go grab another one soon. The security curtain disappears, and the figure lifts his hood. It's Obi-Wan. The alarm stops uh, sounding. Has Anakin been here? Yes, right after the attack on the Jedi Temple. Padme comes down the stairs in a robe. C-3PO leaves. Master Kenobi. She embraces Obi-Wan. Oh, Obi-Wan, thank goodness you're alive. The Republic has fallen, Padme. The Jedi Order is no more. I know it's hard to believe everything to which we've dedicated our lives to is gone. I believe we've had, uh, we have been part of a plot hundreds of years in the making. The Senate is still intact. There is some hope. No, Padme, it's over. The Sith will rule the galaxy as they did before the Republic. The Sith? I'm looking here looking for Anakin. When's the last time you saw him? Yesterday. And do you know where he is now? Padme looks down. No. Padme, I need your help. He is in grave danger. From the Sith, from himself, Padme. Anakin has turned to the dark side. You're wrong. How could he have said that? I've seen a security hard, uh, hologram of him killing younglings. No, not Anakin. He couldn't. He was deceived by a lie. We all were. It appears that Chancellor is behind everything, including the war. Palpatine is the Sith Lord we've been looking for. After the death of Count Dooku, Anakin became his new apprentice. I don't believe you. I can't. Padme, you must find him. You're going to kill him, aren't you? He has become a great threat. Moves to sit down. She reveals her pregnancy. Padme, I can't. Anakin isn't is the father, isn't he? 
Padme looks away, continuing, I'm so sorry. Obi-Wan turns and leaves Padme, stares transfixed, not knowing what to do. She is worried and tormented. Obi-Wan takes off the speeder. She studies the Japper's nippet that is hanging around her neck. <sighs> R2-D2 waits uh, for Lorne Lee, for his master in front of the Jedi Starfighter. Anakin surveys the slaughter with crazed look in his eyes. Anakin stares out at Mustafar standing in the control room, balcony. A small Naboo skiff rests on the landing platform in the vast congenshin, I know, of Crescent. Padme gets out of her speeder following Captain Typho and C-3PO. Typho, my lady, let me, uh, let me come with you. Padme, there is no danger. The fighting is over and this is personal. Typho bows. As you wish, my lady, but I strongly disagree. I'll be all right, Captain. He goes in the speeder, goes to the speeder and gets in. Padme continuing. There's, uh, this is something I must do by myself. Besides, 3PO will look after me. 3PO, oh dear. Typho takes off after Padme and 3PO board the small Naboo skiff. A shadow moves out from under the skiff. It is Obi-Wan. He quickly jumps on the retracting uh, ramp as the skiff, tapes, uh, skiff takes off. Alright, I gotta go grab another bottle of water now, because uh, my voice is completely dying. Completely. This was a mistake. Why did I do this? Okay, I'd be back. <clears throat> How many pages do we got? 22? Uh, no. Oh, actually, it is still 22. Wow. 3PO chatters away as uh, as Padme breaks down in tears. The painful reality is sinking in. Green light, do you know what? Uh, do you know that I am thinking of beginning to hang, uh, hang of this, gain the hang of this flying business? Obi Wan stows away on Padme's ship. The ship lifts from the landing platform and heads into the traffic lanes. A hologram of Anakin appears before Palpatine's office at the bottom of the Senate area. Darth Vader, the Separatists are taking care of my master. It is finished, then. You have restored peace and justice to the ga galaxy. You have done well, Lord Vader. Thank you, my master. A hologram uh, a hologram of Sidious speaks with Anakin in the Mustafar control room. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, Darth Sidious, send a message to the ship of, uh, ships of the Trade Federation. Tell them the Separatist leaders have been wiped out. Grievous and Dooku have been destroyed. All droid units must be shut down immediately. Very good, my lord. <laughs> Anakin, see Padme's ship. Anakin sees Padme's ship arriving on the screen. Uh, and goes out to meet her. The sleek, uh, the sleek Naboo skiff lands on Mustafar. On the Mustaf Mustafar's landing platform near Anakin's green starfighter. Anakin runs up to the skiff as the ramp lowers. Padme runs to him. Padme, I saw your ship. They embrace. Oh, Anakin, it's alright. You're safe now. What, have you what are you doing here? Obi-Wan told me terrible things. 
He said you've turned to the dark side, that you killed the younglings. Obi-Wan is trying to turn you against me. He cares about us. Us? He knows. He wants to help you. Is Obi-Wan trying to pr uh, uh, is Obi-Wan going to protect you? He can't. He can't help you. He's not strong enough. Anakin, all I want is your love. Love won't, uh, won't save you, Padme. Only my new powers can do that. At what cost? You are a good person. Don't do this. Hmm. Anakin, I won't lose you the way I lost my mother. I've become, uh, more powerful than any Jedi has ever dreamed of. Uh... And I've done it to, uh, for you, to protect you. Padme, come away with me. Help me raise our child. Leave everything else behind while we still can. Don't you see we don't have to run away anymore? I brought peace to the Republic. I am more powerful than the Chancellor. I can overthrow him. Together, you and I can rule the galaxy. Make things the way we want them to be. I don't believe what I'm hearing. Obi-Wan was right. You've changed. I don't want to hear any more about Obi-Wan. The Jedi turned against me. Don't you turn against me. I don't know you anymore, Anakin. You're breaking my heart. I'll never stop lo uh, loving you, but you are going down a path I can't follow. Because of Obi-Wan? Because of what you've done. Because of what you plan to do. Stop. Come back. I love you. Seeing Obi-Wan. Liar. Padme turns around and sees Obi-Wan standing in the doorway of Naboo Cruiser. No. You're with him. You betrayed me. You brought him here to kill me. I... And can reach out Padme and uh, grabs her throat as she starts to choke. L. <clears throat> Obi-Wan, let her go, Anakin. Anakin, what has she been up here? Let her go. Anakin releases the grip of the unconscious Padme and she crumbles to the ground. You turned her against me. You've done that yourself. You will not take her from me. Anakin throws off his cloak. Obi-Wan, your anger and your lust for power has already done that. Obi-Wan flings off his cloak. Obi-Wan, continuing, you have, all, you have allowed this Dark Lord to twist your mind until now. Until now, you have become the very thing you swore to destroy. Uh, they circle each other until Obi-Wan is near Padme. He places her hand on her. Don't lecture me, Obi-Wan. I, I see through the lies of the Jedi. I do not fear the dark side as you do. I brought peace, justice, and freedom uh, and security to my new empire. Your new empire? Don't make me kill you. Anakin, my allegiance is to the Republic, to democracy. Down one more. <clears throat> if you're not with me, you're my enemy. Obi-Wan, only Sith Lord deals in absolutes. I will do that. I'll do what I must. Ignites his lightsaber. You will try. Ignites his lightsaber. Anakin lashes out at Obi-Wan. They begin to... A ferocious sword fight. Anakin throws containers at Obi-Wan using the Force. They work their way off the landing platform into the main entry hallway. Anakin kicks Obi-Wan, and Obi-Wan drops to the lower level. R2 be uh, beeps his concern and rushes to the uh, unconscious Padme's aid. Yoda enters, uh, Yoda enters the Force to throw the Red Guards against the wall, knocking them unconscious. Darth Sidious turns his chair towards Yoda. Massimeta stands behind Sidious desks a desk Yoda I hear in uh, Yoda I hear a new apprentice you have em uh, Emperor or should I call you Darth Sidious Master Rodi uh, Master Yoda you survived surprised your arrogance blinds you Master Yoda now you will experience the full power of the dark side uh, the Dark Lord raises his arms and lightning bolts shoot out surrounding Yoda Yoda is picked up and thrown across the room, hitting the wall, slaying down in a crumpled heap. Uh, Sidious chuckles. Let's see here. Anakin and Obi-Wan move their fight toward the main control center. As the laser swords fly, they're not laser swords, oh my gosh. Fly, bits of the hallway are cut up. Obi-Wan and Anakin jump, uh... Jump and use every trick in the Jedi book. R2-D2 tries to drag Padme on board the Naboo cruiser. C-3PO pokes his head out of the ship's doorway. What are you doing? You're going to hurt her. Wait. C-3PO starts down the ramp. <clears throat> Ooh. <clears throat> Gosh. Massimetta leaves the room. Palpatine approaches a, a stunned Yoda. I have been waiting a long time for this moment, my little green friend. At last, the Jedi are no more. Not... If, uh, not if anything I have to say about it, Lord Sidious. 
Yoda uses the force to throw your Lord Sidious back, knocking him clear over his desk onto the floor in a heap. Yoda continuing, at uh, at an end, your rule is, uh, your rule is, and not short enough it was, I must say. Darth Sidious flies into the air, cape flipping, uh, heading toward an exit. At last second, Yoda flies into the exit and stops the Dark Lord. If so powerful you are, why leave? Yoda ignites his lightsaber. You will not stop me, uh, Darth Vader. will become more powerful than either of us. Darth Sidious ignites his lightsaber. Yoda, faith in your new apprentice, misplaced may be, as your faith in the dark side of the Force. The swords clash. The battle is extremely fast and furious. View screens explode around Anakin as o uh, and Obi Wan as they work their way into the control room. Fighting, the fighting is intense. Obi Wan is on the defensive as he jumps up on the table. View screen center of the room. Anakin, don't make me destroy you, Master. You're no match for the dark side, o Obi Wan. I've heard that before, Anakin, but I never thought I'd hear it from you. Anakin forces Obi-Wan back into the conference room where the quarters are much closer. Sparks fly everywhere. Anakin jumps into the conference table. Obi-Wan slides across the table, knocking Anakin over. Obi-Wan grabs Anakin lightsaber at, uh, Anakin's lightsaber as he falls. Obi-Wan uses the Force to summon his dropped lightsaber. Anakin does the same. Palpatine seeks refuge in the vast Senate chamber. He gets into the Chancellor's podium and it starts to rise up in the arena. Yoda makes a giant leap onto the control pod. The sword fight is intense in the confined space. The battle intensifies, Obi-Wan continuing. The flaw of your power is arrogance. Obi-Wan stands looking at his former apprentice for a moment. You hesitate, the flaw of compassion. <laughs> Obi-Wan and Anakin lock, light, uh, lock sabers. Uh, where... Hold up, I just lost it. Lock sabers. Obi-Wan puts his hand... Sorry. Obi-Wan puts his hand to use the Force to push Anakin away. Anakin puts his hand to block Obi-Wan. Both commandants are blasted backward into the control panels. They regain their footing and the battle continues. Anakin kicks Obi-Wan away. The battle around the room. Eventually, the door to the exterior is knocked open. They continue battling out on the balcony. Yoda unleashes a ferocious assault on the Palpatine, causing him to almost go over the edge. The Dark Lord drops his lightsaber but recovers with a blast of energy from his hands that surrounds Yoda. It, Yoda is deflecting the Sith Lord's lightning bolt. The energy bolts begin to arc back on the Emperor. It's, it looks as if Dark Sidious is doomed. Yoda, destroy you I will. Just as Master Kenobi, your apprentice, will destroy you. Uh, just, uh, destroy you, I will. Just as Master Kenobi, your apprentice, will destroy. See, uh, Yoda jumps over the, uh, to a lower Senate pod. Palpatine reaches out with one hand, and the Senate pod is released from its, uh, from its mooring and heads towards the podium. Palpatine uses the Force to hurl the pod at Yoda, who ducks and jumps from one flying pod to the other. Leaps away from the pods. He uses his Force uh, to hold on to a pod suspended in the air. The pod spins, and Yoda throws it back at Palpatine, who leaps away at the last moment. Yoda leaps after him, but Palpatine quickly turns the and aims full force of his energy bolts at the tiny green Jedi, catching him in midair, throwing him back hard against the podium. The force causes Yoda to drop his lightsaber. Yoda blocks the lightning bolts and throws Palpatine backwards off the podium. Yoda is knocked off the podium, falls seven, uh, several hundred feet to, to the base of the podium. I, how are you getting nauseous? How? Is knocked off the podium and falls seven, several hundred feet off. Uh, Palpatine follows, searching for Yoda. No, but William, how are you getting nauseous. I'm, I'm confused on that one. <laughs> what? Staring at the dock for so Oh, so you've been reading along, eh? Either way, you should not be the one getting nauseous, because I've been staring at it for three hours. I have been drinking a lot of water, though.
Yeah. <clears throat> well, either way, what page are we on? Alright, so 30. <clears throat> Anakin forces Obi-Wan down a narrow balcony outside the control room. He rips uh, uh, objects off the wall and throws them at Obi-Wan. He pushes uh, he pushes him further and further along the walkway. The balcony ends and Obi-Wan is trapped. He looks over the balcony and into a river of lava. Anakin cuts a piece of the balcony railing off along with the control panel. Alarms, sa uh, alarms sound and a protective ray shield around the superstructure disappears. It tumbles into mol uh, into the molten abyss, disappearing in a puff of smoke. A small pipe connected uh, connects the control center to the main collection plant. Obi Wan has no choice but to tightrope uh, tightrope walk the outside of the lava river while fighting Anakin. Anakin, following Obi Wan, jumps down onto the flexing pipe lands and resumes fighting. <clears throat> Obi-Wan and Anakin work their way across the small pipe, fighting ferociously as they go. Obi-Wan slips, uh, slips, throws his lightsaber up in the air, grabs on the pipe, and swings around. Uh, grabs onto the upper pipe, retrieves his lightsaber, and lands back on the original pipe. They continue to fight across the pipe until they reach main collection, the main collection plant. <laughs> Yoda squishes his way through the mass of wires in a small chute. He talks... On his comm link, Yoda, hurry, careful timing, we will need. Bill uh, Organa in the speeder. There aren't too many troops on this side. Activate your homing beacon when you're ready. The Senate pod with the Commander Thayer, 4477, and other several other clone troopers climb up where Amenda and Palpatine are waiting. Beneath the main podium, 20 clone troopers search for Yoda's body. The clone trooper Thayer, there is no sign of the body here, sir. Massa then they are not dead. Palpatine, double your search. Clone Commander Thire, yes sir, right away. Palpatine to a meta. Tell Captain Kagi to prepare the sh uh to prepare my shuttle for immediate takeoff. Yes, master. Palpatine, I sense Lord Vader is endangered. Uh, Palpatine walks into the arena hallway. Commander Thire descends down the floor to the arena where an intense search is taking place. Several curious centers. Uh, senators rub neck in scattered pods. Uh, 32. Obi-Wan and Anakin battle on top of the multi-spread collection panels, jumping from one to the other. At the end of the collection cluster, a huge spray of lava corners them both. Uh, the attachments that hold up the collectors, the frame begins to melt. It's raining lava. Both Anakin and Obi-Wan run, over, uh, run for cover under the collection cluster. They continue to fight in the lava, a uh, lava rain, darting uh, from cover to attack, then quickly retreating to cover. Uh, support for the entire structure begins to fall away. The entire and the collection cluster falls into the lava river. The Jedi continue their fighting, climbing, against, uh, climbing to the highest point uh, on the tower as the rest begins to melt away as it rides the swift current down the river. It bends towards the lava Then they, as they get out toward the end. The fighting gets fierce. Obi-Wan gets to the end and is trapped. The tower is slowly starts sinking under the lava. <coughs> Organa, in his open cockpit speeder, flies along, uh, along next to the roof eve of the huge Senate building. He slows and moves closer to the long row of the res uh, recessed lights. Suddenly, Yoda falls out, uh, falls out of one of the light recesses and lands in the speeder. Bell guns it ahead uh, from the Senate building. Yoda straightens himself out. Into exile, I must go. Failed, I have. Yoda and Bill fly into the traffic of the city. Obi Wan realizes he is getting very close to the edge of the. Uh, of Lava Falls. He grabs a rope and leaps from the collection arm. Anakin follows. Anakin and Obi-Wan continue their sword fighting, hanging from the cables, and swing past each other. <coughs> C-3PO carefully lifts Padme into his arms. R2-D2 nervously looks on, beeping. C-3PO, I'm being careful. I'm... I've got a good hold on her, but I'm worried about my back. I hope it's... 
able to hold up under this weight. C-3PO carries Padme into the Naboo skiff. <clears throat> From their cables, Anakin and Obi-Wan both spot something that causes them to stop fighting. The lava river ahead drops off into a tremendous lava fall, snapping and metal groans and are heard as the main part of the collector starts to break away and moves toward the lava fall. Wee Wan looks around and sees a small floating platform that's making its way to the tower. Obi Wan does a double uh, backflip, not a hack flip, and lands squarely on the floating platform. He immediately leans to one side and moves away from the tower. Anakin realizes he is doomed and as the entire heads for the falls. In the distance, he sees some construction droids. He swings back to the tower, climbs up, makes a running leap, and miraculously lands on a co-worker uh, a worker droid. The droid is confused and chatters to his co-worker. The giant collector uh, goes over the lava flow and disappears in the mist of sparks below. Obi-Wan heads for the bank of the lava river, but Anakin's droid is faster. He catches up with his old master. Obi-Wan and Anakin continue their sword fight. The battle... The, uh, the battle... Uh, they battle away, balancing on tiny platform puzzle and puzzle droid. Anakin, standing on a droid, approaches Obi-Wan on the work platform. Obi-Wan, I have failed you, Anakin. I was never able to teach, uh, to teach you. Think. Anakin and Obi-Wan confront each other on the lava river. Ten more pages, guys. Anakin, I should have known the Jedi were plotting to take over. From the Sith, Anakin, Chancellor Palpatine is evil. From the Jedi point of view, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Then you are lost. This is the end of you. Uh, this is the end for you, my master. I wish it was otherwise. Anakin jumps and flips onto Obi-Wan's platform. They are, uh, the fighting continues again until Obi-Wan jumps toward the safety of the black sandy edge of the lava river. He yells at Anakin. Obi-Wan, it's over, Anakin. I have a high ground. You underestimate my, pow underestimate my power. Obi-Wan, don't try it. Anakin follows, and Obi-Wan cuts his young apprentice at the knees. Then cuts off his left arm in the blink of an eye. Anakin tumbles down the embark embarkment and rolls up and, uh, and rolls to the stop near the edge of the lava. Anakin struggles to pull himself up from the embarkment. With his mechanical hand and his thin leather glove have been burned off. He keeps sliding back down the bank of sand. Obi-Wan continuing. You were the chosen one. Uh, it was said that you would destroy the Sith, not join them. And it was you who would bring balance to the Force and not leave it in darkness. Picks up Anakin's lightsaber and begins to walk away and stops to look back. Anakin, I hate you. You were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. Scroll down. Anakin's clothing blows into the lava and ignites. Suddenly, Anakin bursts into flames and starts screaming. Anakin looks in horror as uh, Obi Wan looks in horror as Anakin becomes engulfed in flames. Can't uh, Obi Wan can't watch him as he struggles to climb the embankment covered in flames. He runs up to Padme's ship as Anakin drops, smoldering near the top of the lava pit. Obi Wan makes the way to the skiff. He looks at Padme. 3PO three, three, uh, three sticks his head uh, out of the door of the skiff. Master Kenobi, we uh, we have Miss Padme on board. Please hurry. We should leave this dreadful place. Obi-Wan runs onto the Naboo skiff. Padme lies on a cot or bed inside the ship. Obi-Wan walks over and checks her. Obi-Wan, is Anakin alright? Obi-Wan, uh looks at her sadly and does not answer her. He brushes back her hair. Padme drops back into unconsciousness. R2 watches over her. Obi-Wan rides into the co-pilot station. He sits He sits looking pensive. 3PO drives. Anakin crawls back up the bank, his body smoking. A shuttle flies over her head and lands. Damn. An Imperial shuttle... Imperial Shuttle closes its wings and settles on the highest point of Mustafar, a uh, landing platform. A platoon of clone troopers exit the crest, followed by 
Darth Sidious. Darth Sidious walks in front of the clone troopers on his way to get Anakin at the edge of the lava pit. Darth Sidious discovers what remains of Anakin and checks him out. He turns to the clones. Anakin, Anakin. There he is. He's still alive. Getting medical capsule immediately. Yes, sir. Right away. Several clone clones rush off as Darth Sidious puts his hand on Anakin's forehead. On the isolated asteroid of Polis Massa, Yoda meditates. Filled to stop the Sith Lord I have. Still much to learn there is. Qui-Gon. Patience. Uh, patience. You will have time. I did not... Uh, I did not... When I... When I became one with the Force, I made a great discovery with my training. Uh, you will be able to merge with your force, with the Force at will. Your physical self will fade away, but you will still retain your consciousness. That uh, you will become more powerful than any Sith. Eternal consciousness. <laughs> the ability to defy oblivion can be archived, but only for oneself. It is accomplished by a shaman of the wills. It's, it is a state acquired through compassion, not greed. Yoda, to become one with the Force, an influence still have, a power greater than all is. Yoda, to become one with the flo uh, Force, an influence still have, a power greater than all it is. You will learn to let go of everything. No attachment, no thought, no self, no physical self. <clears throat> uh, more water. Master, you will you have become Qui Gon Jin, your apprentice. I great uh, I gratefully become. Yoda thinks about this for a minute. Then Organa enters the room and breaks his meditation. Excuse me, Master Yoda. Obi Wan Kenobi has made contact. The clones have placed Anakin in a medical capsule. They float the wounded Sith Lord into the into the belly of. In it, of the Imperial cruiser, Darth Sidious follows the capsule into the ship and takes off. Obi-Wan lands the Naboo cruiser on the landing platform of the isolated post of uh, Polis Massa. Yoda and Bill Organa, along with a few other ground crew, are waiting as the ramp lowers. The Obi-Wan emerges carrying unconscious, uh, unconscious Padme, Padme in his arms, followed by R2 and 3PO. Organa will take her to the medical center quickly. I will be right back. One minute. We're almost through. We're almost through. I'll be right back. I will be back quickly. Hello, Kitty. <clears throat> the shuttle lands are Sidious and clone troopers leave the shuttle. Anakin's body is carried along in a floating medical capsule. <clears throat> Obi-Wan. Ah, shoot, I missed. Uh, Polis Medics work on Padme in an operating theater. Yes, Alfio. Obi-Wan and one of the medical droids enter the observation room where Bale and Yoda are waiting. Medical droid. Medically, she is completely healthy. For reasons that we can't explain, we are losing her. Obi-Wan, she's dying, medical droid. We don't know why. She has lost the will to live. We need to operate quickly if we're going to save the babies. Babies? She's carrying twins. Yoda, save them we must. They are our last hope. Medical droid rushes back to the operating room. R2 and 3PO watch greatly puzzled. R2 beeps. It's some kind of reproductive process, I think. Scroll down. And the medical capsule is lifted onto the table in the rehab center. Droids do work on him. Anakin has new legs and a new arm. Uh, yeah. The twins are being delivered as Bail Organa, Yoda, R2, 
and 3PO watch. Obi-Wan is in the is in the operating theater with Padme. He takes her hand. <laughs> Don't give up, Padme. Padme winces from the pain the medical droid is holding the baby. Medical droid, it's a boy, Padme Luke. Can only offer up a faint smile, then she struggles to touch the baby on the forehead. And it's a girl, Padme, Leia. R2-D2, 3PO, and Bail Organa watch from the adjoining space. <clears throat> Vader dressed... <laughs> Sen, have you at... Sen has... Sen, you've been here for most of the time. Vader dressed in his black body armor lies on the table. Nose plugs are inserted and masks drop from above, sealing tightly. The helmet is fitted and Vader begins breathing. <laughs> Obi-Wan leans over Padme and softly speaks to her. Obi-Wan, you have twins. Padme, they need you. Hang on. I can't. Padme winces again and takes Obi-Wan's hand. She is holding Anakin's japper sniffet. Obi-Wan, save your en energy. Obi-Wan, there is good in him. I know there is still. A last gasp, and she dies. Obi-Wan studies the Netflix. Or, the necklace. Now, here's the thing. Uh, let me go back up and chat real quick. This is, I believe it was... Uh, it was... Yeah, it's Ryan Beast Q, if he's even still here, to write F in chat, okay? That's his Q. Darth Sidious hovers... <clears throat> about around a prophecy of a group of I don't nah I'm just guessing that says prophecy of medical droids who are working on Anakin Darsidious paces in the foreground a droid approaches the dark lord medical droid my lord the construction is finished he lives Darsidious good good the droid moves back to the table where Darth Vader lies the table begins to move upright Darsidious moves next to the Darth Vader uh, Darth Sid Sidious continuing, Lord Vader, can you hear me? Darth Vader. With this dark mask and helmet, moves up to the, f uh, frame until he is closed up, uh, close up. Yes, my master. Looks around the room. Darth Vader continuing, where's Padme? Is she safe? Is she alright? Sidious moves closer to the half-droid man. I'm afraid she dies. Sen? Not right now. I'm afraid she died. It seems your anger. You killed her. A low groan uh, emanates from Vader's mask. Suddenly, everything in the room begins to implode, including some of the droids. Darth Vader. I couldn't have. She was alive. I felt her. She, she uh, she was alive. It's impossible. No. <clears throat> Vader screams, breaking his bonds to the table. He steps forward, waving his hands, causing objects to fly around the room. Sidious deflects objects, but some of the droids aren't so lucky. Vader's painful screams echo throughout the center. Bale's Organa's star cruiser approaches the city of Theed. Uh, the Jedi sit around the conference table. Yoda, pregnant, she uh, she must still appear. Hidden and safe, the children must be kept. Obi-Wan, we must take them somewhere where the Sith will not sense their present, uh, presence. Yoda, split up, they should be. Bill or Ghana. Uh, my wife and I will take the girls. She's always been talking about adopting a baby girl. She will be loved with us. Obi-Wan, and what of the boy? To Tatooine, to his family, send him. I will take the child and watch over him, Master Yoda. Do you think Anakin's twins will be able to, def to defeat Darth Sidious? Strong the Force runs in the sky uh, Skywalker line. Hope we can... Done it is. Until the time is right, disappear we will. Bill leaves the conference room. Yoda stops Obi-Wan. Yoda, continuing Master, Ken uh, continuing to Master Kenobi. Wait a moment. In your solitude on Tatooine. Training I have for you. Obi-Wan, training? Yoda, an old friend has learned a path to immortality. Who? One who, return who has returned from the netherworld of the Force to train me. Your old master, Qui-Gon Jinn. Qui-Gon Jinn? How could he accomplish this? The secret of the ancient order of the wills he studied. To become, uh, to commune with him, I will teach you. I will be able to talk to him? How to join the voice he will train you to, uh, your consciousness will be, uh, you will retain. 
when one uh when one with the force even your physical self perhaps Organa, followed by R2 and 3PO, approaches Captain Ant Tiles, two crew members. Bill Organa, <coughs> Captain Antilles, Antilles, yes, your highness. Organa, I'm placing these droids in your care. Treat them well, clean them up, have protocol droids, have the protocol droids mind wipe. Oh, no. <coughs> oh, and send if you're, uh... Your head hurts a lot, <clears throat> my throat hurts a lot. But I'm almost there. Last page, I think. Last page, right? No, there's- no, it's not. This is second to last. <clears throat> Sio Bubble- uh, Sio Bibble <laughs> walks in with the other mourners. Large crowds in the line- the street flowered covered coffin is drawn by six beautiful white beasts. Soldiers and family Edo Dignit- uh, Degenerates the follow the casket. Padme hand clutches the Japer snippet. A small escape pod hurls toward the swamp planet and disappears in the mist. The pod has landed. Yoda descends the ramp, surveying the unfamiliar terrain. The, the next page is the last one, Sen. A Star Destroyer is surrounded by attack cruisers. On the bridge of the Star Destroyer stands the Empire, uh, Emperor and Governor Tarkin. Darth Vader walks along the bridge to join the Empire and Governor Tarkin. The camera pans to reveal a, the huge frame structure, which is the beginning of the Death Star. The ship approaches the surface of Alderman. The Queen of Alderman sits on the balcony looking out over the awesome mountains of Alderian. Uh, Bill Organa brings a small baby to her. She takes her rocks. Uh, she, she takes her and her rocks her. Obi-Wan rides up to the moisture fa farmhouse of EOP. He dismounts, take the baby out of Papos on his back. He walks toward Aunt Beru, who walks towards to greet him. They talk for a moment. Obi-Wan talks the baby over to the younger housemaid. Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen, who is standing on the bridge near the homestead. Obi-Wan leaves Owen, Beru, and the baby to uh, baby watch the twin... Watch the twin sunsets. Sunset. Iris out. End titles. Captain Jones Barn. Ty Shaden. Sheridan. Sin Colin Master. Tom Holliden. Private Michael Marshall. Daniel Redcliffe. Private John Downey. Chris Pratt. Ch uh, Private Barry Rogers. Patrick Wilson. Private Tom B. Donovan. Chris Evans. Captain Will Denberg, Jim, St uh, Jim Sturgis, Captain Finn Cummings, St Zach Efron, Private Jade Hanks, uh, Jesse Eisenberg, Private Joseph Lynn, Rami Malik, Private Ben Whit uh, Whitaker, John Mez uh, Mazzello, <laughs> let's see, Captain Franklin Miller, Bradley Cooper, <laughs> uh, Corporal Adam Harris, Guim Lee, uh, Cap Corporal Nobert Melton, Bam, uh, Bam, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, Sergeant Chester Bar Barnes, George Clooney, Mr. D Joseph Downing, Harrison Ford, Mercedes Wilson, Allison Jane, uh, Finn Hardy, Mark Strong, Dr. Chris Penn, Robert Downing Jr., Jr. Sarah Clementine, Amy, uh, Amy Smart, Bella, Judy Greener, Ashley Baker, Jessica Chainston, Allie Marshall, Emma Watson, Dr. Alfred, uh, Watney, <laughs> Matt Damon, Sergeant Kurt Jefferson, Staya, that's the last name I'm not pronouncing, because I don't know how, uh, Dorothy Harrison, Elizabeth DeBeck, Rob, Richard Steef, Tommy, Michael Kenton, Daniel, Bradley Whittafore, Clara, Rosamund Pike, Len Leonard, William Fri uh, Fitcher, Fitchner, Leonard, oh wait, that was Leonard, <laughs> Private Albert Rid Richardson, Travis Willington, uh, Willingham, Captain Bradford Henley, Ryan Ocha, <laughs> uh, Captain Cedric Mitchell, Gabriel Besso, William, uh, Bill Wait Wise, Mark Rylance, <clears throat> 
Scarlet, Palm Clementine, Mr. Aaron Marshall, Tom Hanks, Tom Mo uh, Tom Moore, Gabriel Bateman, Colonial Hector Barnes, Taryn Egerton, <laughs> Private Benedict Rodriguez, uh, Roger Craig Smith, Daisy, Karen Killian, Captain Lawrence Browning, Martin Freeman, uh, Mar uh, Mr. Clark Cummings, Bill Murray, Murray, Lieutenant Cur uh, Colonel Downing, Michael Fazabender. Made it all the way to the credits now? Yes, this is the credits. Sergeant Jason DiCaprio, Benedict uh, Cumberbatch, Captain Robert Holland, Steve O, S Sergeant Britt Washington, Tom Hardy, Thomas Matt Jones, Vanessa Anderson, Bia Larson, Lieutenant Colonial James Gibson, James Francesco, Harley Barnes, T.Y. Simpkins, Carrie Bossman, Lieto Wright, Corporal Kyle Wan uh, Wannabe, Daisy Ono, Sergeant Mike McCartney, uh, James Mc uh, McAvey, A M I'm not pronouncing that last name, D uh, Toshiko Barnes, Ne uh, Bridget Nielsen, Sergeant Noah Moore, Fionn Whitehead, Adult Jones Barnes, James M uh, Marston, Adult uh, Colin Miller, Brian Literal, uh, Adult Noah Moore, Peyton Manning, oh Peyton Manning was in this movie, and Garrett, or right, Tom Adult Adult Tom Moore, Garrett Heddle thing. Oh my gosh, the, these credits are going to be really... Uh, actually, no, I thought those were all credits. No. <clears throat> Stunt coordinator, Walter Garza, Keith Adams, Richard uh, Richard Burden, Chris Contempo, Steve Discasto, Brent Fletcher, James T. Henry, D Derek Johnson, Daniel Levitt, Ian McLaughlin, uh, Gary Powell, Georgia Ra uh, Georgina Rawlings, Richard Ruthfeather, Rutherford, George Vin, uh, what's that? Vineyard, Brian Weiss, uh, Wes, Thomas Dwiner, Isaac Hughes, Clint e. Jones, Tyler Barnett, Rocky Capella, John uh, Cientiempo, Mark, uh, Mark Dirksky, uh, Clay Fontet, Stephen Zizi, Jesse Johnson, Samuel Lee, Eric Scott Norris, uh, Jody Mitchell Pine, John Rawlings, Brett SMRZ, uh, Philly Vonderman, Danny Winewards, Richard Epper, Michael Andrew Jamorski, Joel M. Car Kramer, Eric Salas, Gary Baxton, Baxley, Jennifer Capito, J uh, Gary Davis, Dennis Fitzgerald, Tanner Gill, uh, Gill, uh, Laura Kretsch Jennings, uh, I'm not pronouncing that one, Terry Lenord, Jim Palmer, Victor Quintero, uh, James Nelson Roberts, Brian SMYJ, Ellen Eileen Weisinger, Brian Simpson, Hey, we got Simpson in there. Travis Gomez, Brett Jones, Eric Monday. Oh my gosh. Oh my. I really don't want to read this one. Oh. Oh, I can just. Oh my. Ah. Oh. <coughs> uh, that's the first one. It's this one. Oh, it's even longer. Oh, here's going to be a long one. Uh, can I control plus this? Because it's kind of small. Okay, visual effects and animation by MPCA Technology Company. <clears throat> visual effects supervisor Darren Poe. Visual uh, visual effects producer Thomas Tanningberger. Burger. Digital effects producer Kevin Walter. Digital effects supervisor uh, Damien Stump. Composing supervisors Bill Eiler. Computer graphics supervisors Ryan Mint Minteco. Francis Pinto, Animation Supervisors, Clemington Yip, Christopher Paradis, uh, Asset Supervisor, Anelia, whatever that is, Digital Art Supervisor, Matthias Ingstorm, 
uh, visual effects producer, Tobias Windblade, Melissa Tierney. <clears throat> oh. Patrick Belos, Sheldon Castanel, Ivan Diaz, James Houston, Lauren Biet, or Bullet. I'm not reading that one, that, no. Stephen Ditchburn, Robert Jonker, Tyag, Jeffrey Bryan, uh, no. Philip uh, Drobar, Braden Sheck, uh, Laura Wirtz, Rachel Caden, Erica Diaz, uh, Sebastian Higgins, Cena Sultan, Lead Digital Artists, Andrew Bain, uh, Red No, Christopher, Christopher, Christian Cunningham, Will Errol, Ana Gupta, Geese Importa, and Anthony McDowens, uh, Timuchin uh, Osger, Vita uh, No, <laughs> Amit Sh No, Thomas Benoles, Linus No, <laughs> uh, uh, how is that a name? <laughs> how is that a name? <laughs> no. <laughs> Heshman Issa. Shimon Grimorthy. Francesca Izquarzero. <laughs> Eric Mattels. Uh, Sir Lollop. P.S. Sir Lollop. Uh, Math Matthias Royrick. Uh, Purab Sink, <coughs> Jeremy Brill, Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey Burt, No, Andrew Evud, No, Ed Hawkins, Chimney Kumar, uh, Erwin Nadamin, uh, yes, yes, Alfio, Waffles for Dinner is genius. Uh, I haven't eaten dinner yet, uh, I'm j I've just been reading for four hours now. Uh, Sachin Packeter, Jacob Shemont, uh, Christopher Wilson, Christopher Bull, uh, Bulldor, Rob Chapman, Stephen Dweeb, uh, Stu Hunter, Dice John M, John Victor M, Andres Nehis, S no, no. All right, now it's time for these long lines. <coughs> no water. This is also going to be a long one. <coughs> no. Mitzi Argo. No. <laughs> These are such weird names. I can't read them. JB Ball. You can go ahead and leave the stream running. Bronic Bed... Neric. Oh, and just saying, uh, Gianna, if you leave the stream now, you haven't been here through the whole thing. You have to be through the credits if you want that, uh, credit. So, uh, please type in chat to make sure that you're still here. Oh, and, uh, Alfio, uh, according to G Gianna, uh, we're getting, we're getting extra credit for this, so. <laughs> Alfio, you're getting extra credit because you've literally suggested this and been here the whole time. Yes! Anthony Church, no. Hari E, Jasmine Furby. Uh, yeah, Furby. Yeah, I know, I, okay, Gian's still here. Okay, you gotta stay through the whole thing. We Hume, Michael Jimenez, no. Brian Kang, Timoni Kowalski. <laughs> Jackson, I think you've been here the longest. Brian Kim, no. No. No, Dina no, no, no. Sean McLean. No. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> you know, I'm going to try it. Sun Il Kamari Shitri Naina. Naina. No. Aline Nordmark. Hernan Orzoko. No. Thomas, uh, Pitcher. Let's see. I gotta scroll down more. <clears throat> Anel, Dina, no, uh, no, uh, no, no. 
Oh, I've already been there. That's why I'm saying no so much. Uh, Nash Pereira. No. Dinesh R. No. Shwoobie Ray. No, no. Jeffrey Scott. No. Uh, no. Uh, Asandra Spareboom. Uh, let's see here. No, no. Uh, Jezrozo Bond. Uh, Tiffany Thorson. Uh, no, no. Is there still more? Oh my gosh, there's more. Oh my gosh. Do I really have to read all of it? <laughs> oh my gosh. But I must. No, no. I've read this far. I'm not ending it here. I'm going through the names. Louis Ivan Arkentorz... Uh, Torres, Miguel Anglers, Miguel, uh, Mandel Afzak, uh, Julian Beza, Roman Bataev, Jev Bat, uh, Bel Belev, uh, Bogdan Bondrick, Jonathan Jav Javier, Sarah Chang, Sean, no, no, uh, Bijoy E.V., uh, no, Charles Gonzalez, Omar Gudjunson, uh, Janice H. Sh uh, Shah, David Hip, no, Reddy, no, uh, no, uh, Inreg Capel, no, no, uh, no, no, uh, Grish LAL, uh, Vivek Metha, Andrew Moore, uh, skip all those. Uh, Clarissa Penna. <clears throat> Victoria Peter Mutha. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no, no. Uh, no, no. Nish Nishay Shah. <clears throat> My voice is dead. It actually hurts. Uh, Melaine, well, well done. No. Uh, did, no, no. Uh, no. Uh, Devane? No. Uh, no, 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 uh, Susan, Bellany, Vincent, Bulldit, uh, no, no, Peter, Dominic, uh, no, Haj, Jadrove, uh, Carly, I am in the credits, let me read my credits, uh, Oh, yeah, Gianna better stay through the whole thing, though. She's going to listen to me mispronouncing these names. No! Uh, Jane Kearney, uh, Nikita Kinney, uh, just going to quickly run the clear chat. Sen. No. See, I uh, no, I uh, no, no, no. Uh, Sandip, Sandip, Mondol, Claire, uh, Carlos. I uh, absolutely not. That looks like a Russian name. Badam, uh, Raj Pentel. I uh, no, no. I uh, absolutely not. Ermithra. I uh, no. Uh, Palash. Uh, 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 no, 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 uh, Summit Subba, no, uh, no, uh, Bailey Thomas, no, uh, Lexing Young, to this line, uh, absolutely not, nope, uh, Colton, no, uh, Leo Beal, sure, Carly, Carly, this is not the place, Carly, if you really want to do that, go back to last stream of me reading the entire Declaration of Independence to you people. <laughs> go, go, go watch that. <laughs> Ponal Bernack, Thomas Brockman, Bernanda Kessels, Michael Cheeling, Mark No, I, uh, em Emmeline Domag, Charlie Frail, Verma Grav. No, uh, no, uh, Crystal, no, uh, no, N-H-I, no, uh, no, 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 Ross Kelly, uh, Joshua Kinnor, uh, no, uh, Grisha Kimor PV, uh, Yam Levi, uh, 
no, uh, George, George Martin, Jeremy Mesa, and Sivagin, uh, no, no, uh, James O'Donnell, uh, no, uh, no, uh, nope, uh, nope, nope, uh, nope, 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 Alex Zidre, no, Igor Cena to live, no, Dumbala Surrender, uh, Jennifer Thompson, uh, Jeff, no, hey oh, you. Give me a moment. Chat, shut it. Uh, yeah, it is sad. It's sad that I'm reading all this. Alright, next line. Ugh. Leo, no, no, uh, Arnie Nagovind, kind of sounds like, uh, never mind, uh, Amanda Beals, no, Daniel Bryan, Hubbard Chan, no, 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 Camellia Corin, uh, Krista, Kurd, Kudik, uh, Kudrik, Kudrik, Uh, Gianna, tell that to Alfio, who's been watching this and enjoying it for four hours. Miles Miller, uh, no, uh, Thomas Nivet, uh, no, 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 uh, Alexis, uh, Alexis Persate, uh, Stephen Powell, uh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 uh, Devender Shard Palmer. Uh, Richie, SIU, and the Gills, Wilter. Alright, we gotta go down some. Alright, we gotta read this. Uh, Software and Technology, Jacob Clark, Eric Huey, Bernie Wrong, uh, Wong, Michael Forner, Sasha, Sasha Rosales, Calzoto, uh, Cassidence Moore, Shane, S Shane Smith, uh, Ratich, then no, that's a no. Celine Morvin, and Kamala Khan, Kamala Khan, Kamala Khan Varikanu? <laughs> Next one! <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Only two more! Only three more to go! <laughs> Gosh. Pre visualization by the third floor Inco. Oh, previous super supervisor Dorian Bustamante. Uh, probably not. My voice will be gone. Uh, senior previous production manager, Elizabeth Montez. Uh, previous producer, Katie Hooten. Previous coordinators, uh, Quinlan Swa, Christopher Thellus. Previous, uh, previous editors. <clears throat> uh, pre where, where was I? Uh... Christopher Thellis. I lost where I was. Uh, I think I was on the executive producer. Christopher Edwards, Duncan Burridge, Laura Zentil, pa Paul Barry, Laurie Tolley, uh, head producer Charles Charlotte Nelson, vice president Dane Allen Smith, head of finance Ollie Corporal, uh, head of IT Jeremy Odo, head of pipeline Addison Bath. Head of Marketing, Lauren Puntillo. Visualization Leads, Christopher uh, Betty. Hunt, Dober, uh, Hunt Doherty. Daniel Hedger. Okay. Chris Al uh, Christopher Alvarez. Brian, Brian Cartney. Chad Cox. Uh, Ariel Fliblonis. <laughs> De Fliblowitz. Fliblowitz. Ariel Fliblowitz. Uh, David Hickey, Woon, Woona Jang, Wee uh, Jame Bruno, Jeremy Bruno, Donald Netzel, Tyren, uh, Marvin Wutia, S Sophia Yu, uh, Robert D. Anala, Alex Cannon, Marcus Dylan Harris, Mark Ellis, Dylan Harris, Paul Hopkins, Chris Jeffley, Jeffrey, uh, Andrew Miller, 
no, uh, Paul Newberry, Jason Ronzani, Eric Shivima, Adam Wa uh, Waters, Shendi W U or W U, Hamilton Lewis, Stephen A Block, Alexandra Zeldis, Todd Allen Erickson, John Haxbrook, Jean Janine, uh, Karrison Win I go whose name is Win Lair. Harrison, I know, uh, Phil Milson, uh, Phil Mil Minter, where did I get Wilson from? Uh, n per Parasad, no, Chris Parks, uh, Herbie Samson, Romo, Romro, L. Smith, Hunter Wilker, uh, Alex, Alexander Yip, Ryan Zuckoff. Oh, this one's also no. Oh my gosh, no! Oh my lord! Oh, you better sit back for this one. Ooh. <clears throat> oh gosh, <laughs> I've spent twenty minutes just on the credits alone. Oh my gosh, no. I woke my cat up. It's okay, kitty. Don't worry. Your owner's just reading the credits. <clears throat> Control plus. See, co-producer Trevor Watterson, associate producer Christopher Romeo, uh, production supervisor Russell Allen, supervising art director Doug Mer Merdink, Art Director, Krista, Krista Murno. Assistant Art Director, Sam Olivia. Vehicle Design Coordinator, Ron Mendel. Art Department Coordinator, Mike uh, Pacherio. Uh, set Director, Ron Reese. Digital Set Designers, Makaso Masta, Randy Wilkins, Forrest Fisher. Set Designers, George Lee Mc, uh, McDonald. Oh, wow, we got McDonald. <laughs> Kevin Liu, Todd No. Lori Campbell, David Chow. <clears throat> Let's see, David Chow, Lead Graphic Design, Dean Sheriff, Jamie Rama, uh, Jake Shull. I'm about to shock myself. Darn it. Ow. Send, send, just, just send no. Just, just get no. <laughs> Damn it, Sen. I'm clearing chat because of that. <laughs> Damn it, Sen. Just no. <laughs> Rick Carter, Blake Fabane, Dave Lowerly, John Coven, Phil Keller, Dan Sweetman, Amy Lynn Ozumu, Robbie Kinsing, Tim Bergard, Doug Chang, John Bell, uh, researcher Lizzie Klein, researcher pl slash product placement, Krista Melanie, model maker, uh, Jason Ma McCain, Jason McCain, uh, art, uh, art department assistants, John Michael Rivera Jr., Karen, uh, Karen Sori, property master, Property, uh, pr uh, property master, Gilme <laughs> Deluche, Josh Roth, uh, assistant property master, Armor, Dave Fensel, uh, oh, those are also really long. <clears throat> Continue. Property assistant, Jeff Lombardi, property depth administrator, Jane Pham. Lead man, Bruce Luzi, Byers, Linda Luzi, Bill Maxwell, lead gang, uh, lead gang boss, what? Ben T. LD, gang bosses, Vincent Luzi, Mark, <laughs> where do gang bosses come into this? Oh my gosh, shut up. Mark Palmer, Joe Benino, Seth Tressers, Paul McGurvio, Paul Penalty. <laughs> Jackson, you think you've gone insane. John Hill. No. Set set deck electronics. 
uh, Paul, no, Matt Lopak, on set dresser, John McElderry, on set painter, Bill Hoyt, set de uh, deck painter, paint, uh, David Dungan, Ian, Ian Fox, a, oh, A camera operator, B camera operator, Chris Hurroff, first assistant, A cameras, who, what cameras need assistance? Tucker Court, Thom who needs three? Second assistant A camera, Dandy Lawrence, first assistant B camera, G John No, second assistant B camera, Robert Campbell, film loader, Kristen Corbell, camera assistants, Dennis Dwyer, Sam Dick has no, production sound mixer, uh, mixer, Chris Francis, boom operator, uh, Bob Jackson, Jackson. Video artist, Bryce Shields. Additional editor, uh, supervising sound effects, Steve Miller, Christopher McQuire, or McQuarrie. <clears throat> gosh, the, oh, gosh, that's long. <sighs> <clears throat> VFX editor, Adam Avery. 3D editor, Brett Shellman. Uh, assistant editor, Chris Cole. Heatherman Mullen. Brennan Wash, VFX assistant editor, Kendra Mara, uh, Mikael po Pocketed. Cameras need assistant, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Gaffer, Rafael Sanchez, set lighting best, set lighting best boy, Scott Sprange, what kind of job is this? Set lighting uh, technicians, that would make sense. Brian Booth, Mike Lyon. Chris Weiger, Mike Yope, Ted Tunnel, uh, Tunney, uh, Charles Colin, Ramir Bailat, Greg Doy, Rigging, Rigging Gaffer, that's also a name, Scott Graves, Rigging Best Boy, G uh, Greg Lopez, Gang Boss, why the flip are there Gang Bosses in a Star Wars movie? What? <laughs> Greg Mayer, Ismael Gonzalez, Chris... Entire Gregory Bantia Bantia uh, Rigging Electrician Electrician Brian Warbeck uh, Fixtures Foreman George Leno Fixtures Best Boy uh, No <laughs> Fixtures Technician Chris Burr Sean Roberts Key Grip Key Grip What are these stupid jobs? <laughs> Les Tomita, Best Boy, Best Boy Grip, A Dolly Grip, Alun Shantz, uh, uh, Schultz, <clears throat> B Dolly Grip, No, Jack Glenn, Grips, More Grips, <laughs> No, A uh, Drill, No, T Sano Kwong, <laughs> Key Rigging Grip, Rick Harris, Rigging Best Boy, Don Spadoni, Rigging Foreman. Uh, John Leary, Steely Hunter, Rigging Grips, James Alden, Char Charlie Butler, no, uh, Eddie, no, Michael Travers, Brandon Harris, Brian Bishop, Mike, no, uh, Technician, Technocrane Operators, Derlin Bifrone Jones, Dave Hassler, scroll down some more. I'm still confused. Why does Disney need a game? No, this is Lucasfilm. Why are there game bosses? Literally. What the flip? <laughs> uh, special effects supervisor. No. Uh, motion control technician. Don Gray. Rigging foreman. Uh, no. Pyro gang boss. Uh, pyro gang boss? Pyro is fire. Why? <laughs> Doug Passarelli, special effects technicians, Ryan Mandela, uh, special effects, uh, no, just no. We spent half an hour on the names. Script supervisor, Luca Comalis, supervisor, location manager, Laura Snow, key assistant, location manager, Paulina Salazar, financial controllers, Tom Bianco. 
Kathy Petty, first key assistant accountant, uh, Sio Clarides, key payroll accountant, Irony, Irene, no, second payroll, Maureen O'Reilly, key second assistant account, uh, accountant, assistant accountant, Lindsay Little, second assistant accountant, Kimberly Choi, Jason D. Mayo, uh, Angley S. Lee, P post production accountant, Monica Perez Gelbin, key production coordinator, Zonic Zonilia Zon Zolia Gomez, assistant production coordinators, Jason Simmons, Karen A. Harris. <clears throat> Pyromania. Are you talking about Mustafar? You know the end? Uh... Oh, now I'm here. Script Supervisor, Luca, no. Supervisor Location Manager, Laura, no. Or so Sode Madison. Key Assistant Location, Paulina Salzar. I feel like I've read this. Financial Controllers. Ah, that's because I did read it. Darn it. I knew I read it before. Set production assistants, no. Uh, Alina Gaddy, uh, no. Casting associate, no. Uh, casting assistant, uh, Kim Whitner. Second, second. Hold up, yeah. Oh my gosh, my mom's telling me to take a break. I've been reading for four and a half hours. I literally streamed a four and a half hour stream. I have been reading. My gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I've been technically reading. I uh, know, I'm not. I won't lie to her. I'm sorry. I've been reading a movie. Uh, okay. Paint Gang Boss. Okay, I don't think Gang Boss means what I think it is, because there is no way there is a Paint Gang Boss. <laughs> there is no way there is a Paint one. <laughs> there's no way there's an actual Paint Gang Boss. Sent pa set Painter Gang Boss. Robert Hale. Prop Maker Foreman. Sam Mendoza. Eric Senate. I am the Senate. I've been reading names for the past half hour. <laughs> prop make prop maker gang boss. Yeah, there's no way it means what I think it means. <laughs> Robert Deep Corey, Chris 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 Jordan, uh, Charles Papa Paula, uh, labor laborador laborer foreman Anthony Salenses, Kevin Thompson, welding foreman, uh, weld welding gang boss Darren. Eric Starin, <laughs> Decorator Game Boss, Rod Garvin, Billy Guarino, uh, Lawrence, La uh, Lawrence Lauren, Jay Schmidt, uh, Plaster Foreman, Brian Gilbert, Plasterer Game Bosses, <laughs> Robert Kramen, uh, Kramer, Keith Sampson, Ryan McBride, Dan, no, okay, uh, Greens Foreman, Alex Seizing, Standby Green Supervisor, uh, Jeffrey Thomas, and Standby Greens, Terry Corliss. Okay, Camera, Car, Cranes, and Dollies. 24 Frame Video Playback, Monty Swan, Computer Slash Video Consultant, Matthew Alexander, Operating Supervisor, Dave Landmick, Dit, Brooke Willard, Libra Head Tech, Adam Austin, David B. Noel, uh, Michael Kelm, Aerial Camera System Tech, Peter Graff, Ground Safety, uh, hold up, Kevin LaRosa, Ground Safety, uh, yeah, uh, Transportation Coordinator, Aaron Skalka, Supervising Transportation Captain, Keith Fisher, uh, Transportation Co-Captain, Keith Fernay, uh, Picture Car Coordinator, Tom Reber, Picture Car Captain, Tim Sisson, uh, Head Animal Trainer Coordinator. Where were there animals in this movie? Those were all fake animals. Like, you know, the one where Obi-Wan was writing one? 
Uh, Justin Mann. Picture card mechanics, Justin Mann, Trevor Mann. Assistant animal trainers, Robert McDonald. Yo, we got Robert McDonald training animals. Were they cows? Question mark. We'll never know. Andrea Robinson. Animal trainer exotics. Uh, Julian Sylvester. Craft service. Teddy Yonica. Catering by... I'd, oh my gosh, I was just thinking, with all of these, there's got to be somewhere where, like, you got the person who brings food into all the movie sets. I was just thinking they got to include them somewhere in here. Oh my gosh, catering by Tony's Food Service. Chef! I knew there was going to be a chef, too! Ivan Carew! I was just thinking that. Oh, it read my mind. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh, shoot, that's my Discord. Not my... Or not my Discord, uh, my, uh... Alright, gotta go over one. Gotta go over to the last one. <clears throat> last one, guys, right here. <clears throat> Special effects, imagery, character... Oh, this is so hard to read, I hate it. Computer graphics, movie land... No, visual effects supervisor... Paige Gunderson, Senator Visual Effects Supervisor, Harry J. K. Justman, Animation Supervisor, Aviva No, Visual Effects Producer, Jonathan Williams, CG Supervisors, Patrick Cole, uh, Cohen, Jeremy Boker, Boker Evagen, Evagen Smith, Aviva Corvado, Digital Composters, a uh, Composting uh, Supervisor, Composting. Digital. Why? Kathleen Jackson. Uh, creature Supervisor. James Cross Lay. Uh, no. Uh, Chris Robinson. Digital Paint E and Rofto Supervisor. Gwen Stefan. Why did they have to choose this font? It's so hard to read. Layout Supervisor. Richard Hollander. Stefo Stereo Supervisor. Stereo Supervisor. Taylor Somenez, Visual Effects Editors, Jordan Kerner, uh, Nick Levidusk, VFX Producer Manager, Christopher Rodriguez, Lead CG Artist, Katherine Harris, Supervising Digital Artist, Martin Murphy, Katherine Harris, uh, Lead Animators, Katherine Harris, Steve McKidd, Christopher McGregor, Katie Holt, Ted Sandy Kahn, Mark Gunn, James Crossley, James Crossley, not James, uh, is Kathleen Good, and, oh no, I feel like I've read all these before, like, lead animators, animators, I don't care, I'm reading them all anyway, uh, let's see, animators, Ennis and Teague, Jane Lynch, uh, no, uh, Patrick Cohen, I've definitely read all these before, somewhere else, Haley Stepfield, Sam Penguin Black, Jonathan Lopez, Gal Gott, uh, Dennis Lopez, Jamie Chug, uh, Gamelar, Guillermo de Toro, uh, Paige Gunderson, Sarah Suze, Bud, Th Bud Thon, Henry Jackman, La Lauren Ching, Lean Glep, Glenn, Mick, Mictosh, uh, Elvin Dever, Simone Pegg, Jackie, <gasps> Jackie Chan was an animator? Jackie Chan? Okay. Anderson Stefan, Jack Paltrow, uh, digital artist, uh, Christopher Miller, Carrie Kirkpack. Yeah, seriously, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan was in Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith. Oh, this one's also long. Bex Taylor Claus, Jennifer M. De no, Danny De. Oh my gosh, we have Danny DeVito as a digital artist? We have Danny DeVito? <laughs> Since when is he an artist? Gary Gunderson. Gary Summers. Ted Zwick. Uh, John Car. Juan Carlos Narvo Gomez, Kevin Webb, Jamie Chong, 
uh, Nick Lewandowski, uh, Steve Morris, George Zwick, no, Nick Von, no, Christopher K. Thomas, David Her Her Hernandez, Tom Alessio, Jim Mil McLeod, uh, Christopher Gabriel, Jin uh, Cruz Santos, Alan Meyerson, Marty Marshall, uh, Christopher Gunderson, Larry Wong, Wo I there's two O's there, but Tom Myers, Richard Alexandro, uh, Paige Gunderson, Jill Colton, Kendi McCromick, Juan Allegro Gomez. Okay, this formatting gets really weird. I'm probably going. I'm going to use my toothpicks to mark it out. Juan of the Gomez, uh, Juan S. G Josh Loden, Genesis Rodriguez, Susan Kim, Gary Rideson, uh, Xavier No, Gilamoro No, and Nacho Blasco Dominguez. I don't know. Uh, ow! Shoot my finger. That hurt. Evelyn Deaver, Mario Alberto Martinez to uh, Tapia, Aldi Aldevo, no, uh, Dana Gator, Dana Gator, Gator, I, that's, I think that's an I, Chris Wedge, Chris Rorschach, Kevin Lloyd, Jake D. Miller, Henry Jackman, Bob Peterson, Jim Doyd, Ron Sutman, Tim Peeler, Dan Cruz, Travis Mendez, Mendoza, Chris Miller, uh, McCory, Haley Stephan, Mike Halford, Myron, no, uh, Jerome, no, uh, Andy McQuinn, Lion Bassus, uh, James W. Subber, uh, Mark Christopher Lawrence, Jordan Miller, Kim Lopez Castello, Christopher Sanchez, Steve McKinn, Christopher McGregor, Harry Miller, uh, Steven Yen, Steven Yen, Ryan Lee, Katie Miller, Ross Anderson, Christopher Mc, uh, McGiffo, Lee Onerick, Tracy Morgan, Jeremy Bo uh, Boker, uh, Catherine Good, Kathleen Good, uh, Gal Gadot, Sarah Suze, Chris, uh, Chris, uh, Buckleg, Easy No, uh, Ted Richards, Kelly McLean, uh, throw this one. I almost am out of my second water bottle. Are you kidding me? I need more water, though. Duke Sweetland, Chris Williams. I'm gonna move my mic closer to me. Uh, Jack Lavoid, Jordan Kerner, Ken Genono. Yeah, I'm drinking plenty of water. I'm definitely hydrated. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Angus McLean, Christopher Eggleston, and no. Down here, uh, down one more. We're almost through, guys. We are almost through. Digital, mo digital modeling and stimulation artist Chris Malisco, Sam Schmidt, uh, Schmidt, Gary Ridestorm, Catherine Good, uh, Lauren. McIntosh, Pablo Miller, Gary McBriar, Pidge McQuarrie, Ned W. Dever, uh, Chris Miller, Mike Peters, Milo Gunderson, Robert Peters, Randall F. Dever, uh, Chris Williams, Jack Miller, Danswick, and Chris McLean. McLean. I recognize that last name from somewhere. I don't remember where, though. Plate Coronator, uh, Jordan Schmidt. Uh, plate match over Christopher McStacy, VFX producer coordinators Catherine Collins, Evelyn McQuarrie, Catherine Kennedy, Kevin's uh, VFX assistants, uh, Kevin uh, Spacey, Christopher McQuarrie, VFX concept artists, uh, no, Jonathan McQuilski, uh, Christopher McGuffin, Evelyn Dever, uh, Stephen Hennyveld, uh, Alan Meyerson, uh, show you good. Kim, uh, Anderson, Stanton, Andrew Stanton, Angus, why is War Thunder open? I haven't played that game in a while. Angus Mc, uh, produce, production support, uh, support. Angus McLean, Stephen Clay Hunter, 
Jeff Williams, Christopher M Melodarn, uh, uh, Christopher Otto, uh, Otto, Stephen Gregory, no, uh, no, uh, Bex Taylor Claus, Andrew Gordon, Christopher McGuffin, uh, Sarah Jo Helton, uh, no, no, uh, Glenn McIntosh, Mark Walsh, John Wong, no, Jonathan K. Devers, Stephen Hel uh, Heavenveld, Pidge Gunderson, uh, Matthew, Jamie Chung, uh, Jid, Jid Kim, um, Christopher McQuarrie, John Laster, Chris Wedge, uh, James New Howard, James Newton Howard, no, uh, no, uh, no, Rod Zorman, uh, she would Kim, Jim Ward, Jeremy Boker, Evelyn Dever, Calvin Harris, Christopher Gunderson, Alan Davidson, Gabriela Hernandez, Mike Nervado, Jeff Gibson, Kathleen Creamer, Abraham Franklin, tis, tis, I'm not pronouncing that last one. Yo, we have did it. We have read the entire script of Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Let's go back to the beginning of where it all started after 144 pages. Let's go to the beginning. Uh, 100 and... Well, actually, it was over 144 because of the stupid credits. We did it! <laughs> Everyone who is still here, comment, uh, write in chat and make sure that you're still here. Because if it is either Gianna or Alfio, I'm going to, uh, or Carly, I'm going, to, I'm going to tell them if you made it through the whole time. If you are not here right now, you did not make it through the whole stream, and I'm going to tell them you did not stay for the whole stream. <laughs> Gianna, write in chat. Carly wasn't here for the whole stream anyway. She she was gone. Sen, yes. Yes, Sen. <laughs> Nightpot gets mad at Sen of all people. Gianna's not writing in chat. Gianna's not writing in chat. She's not here. She's not here. Jackson. Jackson, you're not you're not on the right team. You're not getting extra credit. <laughs> Don't think. She's not here. She's not here. Wow. Wow. She's not getting extra credit. Alfio, are you here? <laughs> I have eight viewers on Twitch. I need to know who stayed here for that. Honestly? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I gotta go eat dinner. What perfect timing! Yo! Yo! Let's go! We just did it! We just did it, guys! Thank you all so much for watching and bearing with me through the entire, entire Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and I will see all of you next time. I don't think it's going to be tonight, because my voice is dead.